come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We talk about movies every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. Sometimes when, eh, we're not ready for it. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, do us a favor and uh, hit that like or subscribe button anywhere that you found us. Uh, maybe even on Spotify, <gasps> on our Apple Podcasts. Uh, you can have your uh, your smart speaker play our podcast. It's awesome. Uh, we're also on YouTube, but all of that helps us get found by other folks uh, like you who like listening to the same kind of stuff that we're into. Um, these are the internet radio superstars: Holly, John, Michaela, and I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Michaela. What do we watch tonight? We're on the second leg of our blockbuster bomb summer. We watched Cool as Ice. Cool as Ice. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. From the year nineteen ninety one. So 91. it's the thirtieth anniversary this year. Okay. Uh, Directed by uh, David Kellogg. Okay. This Hi. is okay. Do we, do we know do we David know Kellogg? David? This is what. Really, kind of, it started to tip the scales. Right, is when okay. I was like, "Who's this guy?" Look him up. Okay, this guy has directed two movies in his life. Okay. Oh boy, Cool as Ice uh -huh. <laughs> and the Inspector Gadget movie with Matthew Broderick, <laughs> really? oh, wow. which is also a terrible movie. Oh, wow. Um, and that's but if you look at it, <laughs> if somebody asks you what you do for a living, you just like you don't even mention those. You're just like, I own a dress <laughs> shop. Like you don't mention you work. Well, in here, movies. here's where it gets better, Sean. So he has like. 150 IMDb credits. I was okay. say the music so videos. So I'm looking. Right? He does a lot of music videos. There there's a lot go. of commercials. There we go. He also does any um, Playboy video you've seen in the past ah, 30 to 40 years he directed. Oh, yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Like That's what that looks or, like. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Wild three. That makes so. That much sense. makes sense. <laughs> that makes so much now, sense. Now, <laughs> do you see? I've seen a lot of Playboy guys? videos. I'll just admit that right <laughs> off the bat. But it had that like. That slow-looking, billowing curtains, yeah. Yeah. white curtains, and every slow motion. Sean, it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm very familiar with Playboy videos. I <laughs> yeah. get it. I yeah. knew that I looked familiar. <laughs> Goddamn. Okay. So do you see why when I saw this, I was like, oh, Makes this, sense. the further That's I dig, the more interesting the entire this time. gets. Wow. Well, this is why looking at a bowl of fish was sexy. Yeah. All right, I yeah. understand that. Yeah. But this is the PG. PG. He's, he's he's, PG. He was restraining himself with this movie. This and it, well, Inspector Gadget. Gets real suggestive in certain parts. Does it? I'll yeah. never know. <laughs> Doesn't it? I was like, I'm. He's. I mean, there's stuff coming out of his trench coat. I assume. It, I mean, there's, yeah. So, there's there's a scene that like I remember because I think even at the time I was like, I'm too old for this, but this content's also too old for me. If mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Where I was like, I'm not buying into the childlike aspects, but the adult humor I'm picking up on and it's making me uncomfortable mm. was my experience watching sure, Inspector sure, Gadget as sure. a kid. And uh, there was a part where like his arm contraption has like it like shoots out toothpaste oh, and like a boy. bunch of toothpaste came out like nonstop and then they were like slipping and falling in it and I was like this white stuff is coming oh, out of his arm yeah. nonstop and so, it's real gross. <laughs> do we think it was it was better or worse than the French Stewart sequel? I mean, French Stewart would try. <laughs> did that go direct to video or yes. did that go to theater? Okay, oh, but yeah. like French Stewart is going to put in so much more effort than Matthew Broderick ever will. You know what I'm saying? Didn't he I have am. like contacts or something? It made him look really creepy in Inspector Gadget. Maybe I mean, Matthew I Broderick always so, looks like a robot. I am just in awe that we are having this conversation right now. <laughs> I mean, that's very true. <laughs> We're trying to avoid the where we have to talk about. <laughs> I mean, Inspector cool Gadget. Like, is... Oh, Rupert Everett was Doctor Claw, right. wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That movie's unwatchable, though. Wow. I have never seen it. Yeah, I know too much it's... about it for not having seen it. <laughs> well, is David Kellogg's other movie watchable? We're gonna find out. Okay, yeah. we'll find so. This is uh, Cool as Ice, cool which of course stars, stars Vanilla Ice. Who's he? Rob Van Winkle. <laughs> Who's? Oh, that's his real name. That's his real oh, I was yeah. going to ask you. Yeah. Okay, like because yeah. I know Colin. nothing yeah, about. Yeah, you. don't worry, right. Colin. Right. I will educate gonna, you. This is okay. an education <laughs> of yeah. Um, so there was a little movie that came out, I think the year prior, called Boys in the Hood, mm -hmm. that was yeah. super oh, yeah. super yes. successful uh, because yeah, it's directed by movie. John fucking Singleton. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys, it's still good. It's iconic. Yeah, Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah, yeah, but. So I think it was SDK was Vanilla Ice's record label at the time. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, they saw how successful Cube was and how that movie was. Like, yeah. didn't that get nominated for Oscars? Right? Like, I think so. It, it's a great it, fucking it, yeah, it movie. Was huge. Go yeah. watch Boys in the Hood if you've never seen yeah, it. Yeah, seriously. Um, yeah, I just remember so that was when I worked at uh, at a video store and Boys in the Hood and Menace to Society. Yeah. Yeah. They were always yes. stolen. We Ooh, could never keep those movies yeah. in stock. <laughs> they were always gone. Feature. But um, so his record label said, we're going to 
We're gonna try, we're gonna copy that formula we're doing this because again, yeah. we it, like people take Cube more seriously now. That movie was successful, it made a fuck ton of money. He made a lot of money. So Vanilla Ice, we're gonna give you your boys in the hood. Was this because yeah, uh, cool I saw uh, a live <laughs> films was the producer uh, mm-hmm. that's run by Shep Gordon. Mm-hmm. Shep Gordon is Alice Cooper's manager. So was he uh, Vanilla Ice's like? Uh, manager? <laughs> that I don't know, but I know that Vanilla Ice had like a lot of legal issues with his manager and his record label. Like there was, like I guess he did not make as much money as you would think from his mm-hmm. like first two albums because just like everyone in this era of them, it seems like yeah. if you were famous between the sixties and the nineties in the music industry, you got fucked over by your record label, right? You yeah, know? yeah. Um, but they he they paid him one million dollars to do this movie, and he was twenty three years old. Like. I would. He's wouldn't you say this? yes? So, wouldn't you say yes to that? Yeah, like yes. you're on top of the Fuck fucking yes. world. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'll still say yes to it if anyone's yeah. listening. I will do this embarrassing shit for a million dollars. Like I know it's really easy to clown on Vanilla Ice, but he's richer True. than we will ever be. He. Is he what is his current liquidity? Is what I'm okay, curious. No, about. he. Have you seen his show? Yeah, he's, he's got, got that. He's got, got a show, show where he, he flips houses. He has a home renovation show. Yeah, yeah. it's been is on for a while. Yeah. Because wasn't he like? I mean, that's great. He's like a, I, I want to watch the show. He's really good at it. Yeah, interesting. Was he, he on the Mask Singer or something like? Was he, 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 was like or if he hasn't been, been he will. He was okay. on the Surreal Life. Okay. Oh yeah, right. with Eric Estrada, oh they were God, in the same I house forgot together. About yeah. that, right. yeah. Wow. I forgot that existed. What is the house flipping show called? It better have a great name. Uh, oh, I can't remember. It's not that. It's not as good as you would. No. It should be. It, it doesn't yeah, have okay. a good pun. Keep or talking. Anything. I'll look. Yeah. You look it up. But I will watch that show. It's you know like like I said. I know it's easy to clown on him, but. You also need to watch uh, the one dude from New Kids on the Block has uh, has a show called Farmhouse Fixer Upper or something like that. That wow. one's fantastic. Gotcha. Areas I really, <laughs> yeah. I really never thought we'd get to this point on no, the freak show, but I, neither did I. Yeah. I mean, but thank we're, you, listener, but, for sticking with right, us. But we're exploring. <laughs> yeah. We're going places you didn't think we'd go. But, okay, Vanilla Ice is richer than we will ever be. Mm, he yes. has managed to span. Like, he's an icon, whether you like it or not. This guy's been around for 30-some years at this point, and people know who he is. They know Ice Ice Baby. Like That song yeah. will he, live forever. He will, li- he will live on forever. So he's like so, a, a David Hasselhoff kind of icon. Doing better. Uh, bad, he's but doing yeah. better than okay. Hasselhoff. That's, yeah. That's, that's like, about the level. Because, okay, when you, when you put something out into society and it doesn't get taken seriously, you have two ways you can handle it. You can be a Will Wheaton about it, or you can be a Dustin Diamond about it. And I Just turn into the skin and, and just can, be like... You can either have a good sense of humor about it, or you can be a dick about uh, it. And if you have a good sense of humor about it, like Vanilla Ice does, mm. you can capitalize on it and continue to to live off of one song for your whole fucking life. You can. He did yeah. that. He did like a commercial where he was... Wasn't he like in a grocery store stocking shit? And, well, isn't he on that uh, the Tide? The Tide commercials right tide now? Commercial? With, I think that might yeah. be it, yeah. It, this is a cold call with Steve uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin oh, and, and, uh, and Ice-T yeah, Vanilla yeah. Ice is in one of them yeah, with yeah. them now too yeah so it's literally well, good the, for him for having a sense of humor and going sh- with yeah. it the show is literally called the Vanilla Ice Project yeah <laughs> and it's on HGTV yeah wow okay well, how did he mean, get his name Vanilla Ice I don't know. Okay. I, I didn't do that much vanilla ice right, research. He was probably curious. just like, well, iced tea's taken. Ice cream's yeah. taken. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm white, yeah. so I will be vanilla. Vanil- yeah. I bet. Uh, there that's you go. Good. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. It's like okay. he is the yeah. white ice cube, <laughs> yeah. so it's vanilla ice. Yeah. Okay. If that's yeah. not it, it is officially now it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. According to us. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Gotta be it. But could you imagine writing one song when you're 22 years old and like you can live off of it for the rest of your fucking life? He like, we should be so lucky yeah. to have the level of success he has. My question is, and I don't know if we can answer it, but did he write it? He and has writing he... credits on it. Okay, that's what I'm wondering because I'm like, if he he'd have to. to but I mean, there's the lawsuit with Queen. With Queen, and Queen. Yeah. yeah. But they, right. yeah. but that was settled out of court, and they have writing and producing credits on it now too. So they're collecting ro- those those okay. estates. Uh, yeah. Are collecting royalties. Yeah. Yeah. You can co- yeah. Yeah. Because uh, that's under the, pressure, right? Yeah. It's yeah. A yeah. Baseline yes. from under the, pressure. Yeah. The ubiquity of that song, mm-hmm. like he's got to be, yeah, he's making money all the yeah. time. Little checks coming yeah. in. Just be like, a, here's another uh, good for million. him. Like you know, like <laughs> oh, guys, a, all we gotta do is do one thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. Song yeah. Yeah. Write and he still he still tours. Like I I saw him. I don't know seven eight years ago probably. Yeah. It's it's weird because his later albums were like kind of like uh like new metal ish in their vibe. Okay. It wasn't mm-hmm. hip hop so much. It was mm-hmm. he was trying to do like body count type stuff oh, uh-huh. like he was trying to be like that and it okay. it doesn't hit the same way because <laughs> yeah. it's not iced tea yeah yeah, yeah. You know? right, yeah. so did, did he do the the 90s didn't we do a 90s tour yeah that came that's still going on that's coming here this summer 
It still goes go. on every year. I think it hammers on that too, and uh-huh. salt yeah, and pepper. That makes sense. And Coolio maybe probably. Coolio is usually on it. The nineties yeah. are back. Yeah, I yeah. Think so. They never left, Colin. <laughs> they never left. <laughs> they never left my heart anyway. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I just I think the nineties didn't know where they were. It's, I know that's why I'm like, uh, do we want to have like the because it's like it's not pastel colors in the nineties is very it's like neon. Is it neon. primary yes. colors? Is yeah. it purple? Uh, that that shade of that green and yeah. uh, green and yellow, yellow. Oh, that yellow, yeah. Yeah. that yellow, yeah, yeah that yellow, uh, that yellow. But I have man. something really important I need to tell you guys about the cinematographer of Please. this movie. Yes. Oh yeah, bring it. I hope he won man an Oscar. Named Janusz Kaminski. Mm-hmm. So he's won many Oscars. Yeah. He's steel. He's Steven Spielberg cinematographer. Oh, yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. This guy shot Schindler's List. Yeah. In this movie. Well, weren't we just talking about who shot um, <laughs> Schindler's List in this movie? <laughs> but that's, I hope this was like his Do you see why I had project. to bring this? Like, he's like, I gave up doing this because I wanted to do the Vanilla Ice movie. No, this was his, no, this was hear. his, he did first and then went to, he went to, okay. he didn't so join he, up with Spielberg till like 95. Damn. Yeah. So. <laughs> then he directed that, uh, oh man, with that Winona Ryder, Jim Caviezel movie, uh, Lost what? Souls or something like Oof. that. I think that, oh, was that sounds the only bad. Thing I don't know anything about it, but it sounds it bad. It wasn't very good. It was the Antichrist, like, I'm going to take possession of, yeah, anyway. Oh. So Jim Caviezel, Christ, who later Antichrist? played, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, See, he's also playing all ends of the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so this <laughs> so this where, movie where Schindler's are? List and Cool as Ice are forever linked. If, yeah, wow. I mean there you go, I mean, uh, Oscar winning cinematographer. What do you think of this, his cinematography in uh, Cool as Ice? It was pretty good for the most part. I thought like it's a little much at times, but I think they're doing that to make up for like the holes in this movie. You know what I'm saying? There are holes in this movie. Please think, explain. Well, it's yeah. mostly holes, I would say. <laughs> Covering holes. Plus, that's what like that's what the '90s looked like. Like yeah. music videos. Yeah, like a Fresh Prince gonna, yeah. music video. Super stylized. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, very stylized. I was gonna say like the, the, I mean the way he's directed, I think he does well with what he had. Yes. You know, I mean, if this is one of your first movies and like mm-hmm. if you're kind of allowed to be as weird as you can get, why wouldn't you? Yeah. You know, I mean, because it it is a vanity project that exists basically because of the cult of Vanilla Ice mm-hmm. at the time, or the assumed cult. We found out you know, because this is your uh, summer of box office bombs. Apparently, yes. the audience did not have the enthusiasm uh, for Vanilla Ice. Do you guys want to take a stab at the budget on this movie? Oh, I looked it up, so I, oh, okay. I I'm going to say 25 million. I was going to say 15. I was going lower. I mean, it may be six million dollars. Okay, oh, way lower. You wow, got, yeah. We saw that same street like in every scene. Like oh, there was true. only like that's two true. locations in this whole movie. One of the locations cost, is. Li- I was thinking production design. <laughs> but if it but cost, one of the cl- locations is literally like a construction. Thing. It's under construction. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we have mountains. Yeah. What do, you, what do you really need? So if the if the budget is six million dollars and we're saying it's a bomb, <laughs> how it, much I'm did it make? One point five. <laughs> Three. 1.1. 1. 1. Ah! <laughs> wow. It did Ouch. like 600,000 its opening weekend or something like that. It was uh, not was it, I'm, well, I'm assuming wide release. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's a oh. Universal Pictures release. I mean, I mean, yeah. Sean, I'll have to send you the link, but on YouTube, you can see the original TV spots for this movie. And it's delightful. Like <laughs> Are you cutting down the best moments well, of this movie? Because you have the in in a world guy being like, he came to the small town. Yes. And then like, and like, they weren't yeah, ready. Yeah, basically. <laughs> because, I mean, they really tried to footloose this bad boy. Yeah. Like, hardcore. Yeah. And there's a little bit of Doc Hollywood in there, right? A little yeah. Doc He's Hollywood, a yeah. rapper, right? There, you know, I mean, basically, he is Vanilla Ice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But his character is named Johnny. Johnny Van Owen. We don't actually, I think there's one person at one point in one line mentions his name in the mm-hmm. entire movie and so he arrives with his well i was gonna say his band what do you call it when like nobody actually plays group. any instruments his, yeah. group, his group and his they squad his squad <laughs> they his go entourage. yeah right on a motorcycle journey to a small town in don't know they don't say ever say it's not important Colin. Right. <laughs> any in, town uh, usa Colin. wherever gilmore girls deserts. was filmed yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah any town usa that's right yeah, yeah. colin this supposed to be a cautionary tale these rap scallions can come to your town and steal your daughters yeah same right. town as the that's wraith right. guarantee yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. That, right? <laughs> yeah so this is the so actually we were uh a while into this movie before a, a plot engine before it started yeah. Uh, oh, yeah engaged because there's like four music videos in this movie yeah <laughs> this yeah. is the montage they're they're borrowing yeah. from like rocky four right where we can make an entire movie yeah, out of a, out of a bunch of music four. videos well that was one of the first i think where it was like 
you know, well, I mean, obviously there's Pink no Floyd, easy whatever. way out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like we're just going to stop the movie to have music videos. Well, the movie Don't starts you do with Tepper dir- dirty like that. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. The movie starts with a music video. Like yep. the fir- it, we hear the entirety of that whole first song while he's performing because in the club. Damn it! We are going to get what we paid our money, hard earned cash to see. Yeah, I paid to see Vanilla, Vanilla Ice. Ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You paid one million dollars to put him in this movie in nineteen ninety dollars. So I was kind of oh, surprised wow. actually that the movie doesn't go into like I mean it's basically a side adventure that he has between gigs. That's what yep. the movie is, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, because he has a gig at the beginning and a gig at the end, um, and so this is going to be on our way to the well, next gig. I mean, there's a problem. I mean, there's a uh, the motorcycle yeah. breaks. Yeah, yeah the motor- out, there's a motorcycle break. They're basically out for a joyride, mm-hmm. yeah, and motorcycle breaks down. So like they're stranded in this small town. Right. Just like Doc Hollywood. Just like Doc Hollywood. And and they meet, well, it's not the farmer's daughter, but Vanilla Ice sees this woman as he's riding along on his motorcycle, sees this girl on a horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Right. And decides that, man, she's the most beautiful creature that I've ever seen in my life. And the way that I'm going to woo her is to... Scare her off her horse. Yeah, cut her, cut her off. It. To, to Chris yeah. Reeves her as yeah. Basically. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> yeah, he he jumps the fence is. with his motorcycle, scares her horse. The horse rears up and throws her off, and yeah. then he doesn't understand why she's mad. Yeah, I think yeah. one of his first lines is, "What's your problem?" Yeah, right. Yeah, as yeah. he tries to meet her. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> this is after his. Uh, was that no? No, that was. Uh, so yeah, she. So, so she's like obviously in deep smit. From this moment yes. mm-hmm. on, right? Oh, yeah. She has to figure out who this guy is. I mean, that's not how the movie ends. So she's like, hey, get the fuck away from me, you creep. But we know that the burning love for Vanilla Ice it has been ignited. In this <laughs> it, can, it cannot be understated how heavy handed this movie is. Like the white picket fences, like, every, like the fact that they were trimming the trees all the way up to the top so that they were meticulous. This town is buttoned up. I like this. It is yeah. like, you That's know. That's why I want to know where they filmed it because, oh my God, did the film crew do that? Or is this like Don't somebody know. drove drove through it and said they actually made their trees into like these Like topiaries, look. yeah. yeah. I dug it. Those yeah, trees, those trees are perfect. They were. <laughs> I love them. But but like, of course, she's she's taken with him, Colin, because he looks like a fucking alien compared to everyone else in this town. He's like, different. He has the loud Technicolor pants. He's got the leather jacket with the words all over it. The gigantic he's sunglasses. The quote unquote bad boy. Yeah, and That's everyone in this town. town, as we see, is dressed like an any nerd extra you've ever seen in a movie. They're they all live uh, in this town. All Poindexters. All yeah, every yeah, single yeah, one yeah, of yeah. them. The hair is combed right down boyfriend. over there. Yes. Yeah, Nick. Nick yeah. the dick. <laughs> Nick the dick. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we got to. So who are we talking about here? So we've got we've got uh, Vanilla Ice and his mm-hmm. group, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. He's the only white member of a black uh, mm-hmm. like rap group. Mm-hmm. So of course we get those obligatory scenes as they're arriving in the town where everybody's staring at like yep. what? Who is this coming into our town? <laughs> mm-hmm. Although that's never there hasn't really been a black person in this town for four to five years. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they react. They it are really they is. are they react in horror to them oh, coming yeah. to this town. Yeah. Although one of them, I may be wrong in my recollection because a lot of the stairs may be because after the bike breaks down, I think that's D's or D's bike, right? Mm-hmm. They have to actually like uh, tow it, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So one motorcycle is carrying another. We don't see that until like the reveal happens later. So everybody's like, "What?" in slow mm-hmm. motion. What? They end up. At this garage, are we calling it a garage? What is this place that they end up at? It looks like Pee Wee's fucking playhouse. It does. Yeah, it does. It really, it, I, it really does. It's hard to explain, Colin, because we are put into a conversation that makes no sense no, with I, the guy who owns this place. Do you recognize him? I've seen him before in a, in a yeah. bunch of stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. But he's I not don't... on the Freak Show Wall of Fame yet. But uh, I think it's Stanley Lassick, if I'm right. But he mm. was the guy in Alligator. You remember yeah. who uh, ah. was putting the uh, the the mutant dogs down? Oh the sewer. yeah, yeah. And I do he was remember. also in Carrie. You remember in Carrie? I can't remember if he was the principal of the mm. right. His yeah. voice is very distinct. Yeah. Like I hear that a lot. I've seen him in a bunch. of He shows. was also in Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's that. <laughs> he gets classic. around. He's yeah. all over the he does. Yeah. And then his wife is Blanche from Grace. Uh, yeah. yeah. And they have this, like, uh, it's not technicolor, but it's very 90s. I, I mean, we say it's a garage, but basically, like, their front yard has a bunch of, there's like 10 spinning globes that of the light up. earth. That there's, light there's like eight doors to walk through. What, everything is like, like, 
it, bold primary colors, everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it feels like a kid's play. This feels it's very it's very odd because it's supposed to be a garage, but it's really like they just pull the bike into a carport. And yeah, there's it's like, like an open air garage. There's yeah. like no tools or anything, right? And it's then just the like inside, a patio. The inside of the house is like black and white with like words all over the walls yeah. and the couch and like the furniture. Yeah. And stuff. yeah, because this is where the group is going to hang out for. Because like, we find out like instead of just being a it's repair. It's like if you turned a Peter Gabriel video into a house. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. Yes. That's a great yeah. way of putting it. Which you're like, who are these people? Are they like uh, hippies? For, you know, that are like, we just went all crazy with the interior decor or whatever. But that's never really uh, free spirits. Gone. Yeah, they're just free spirits. <laughs> so they found the right garage or did they? Because the way that this guy determines like, hey, I'm going to fix your bike is to dismantle it completely. Did this also happen in Doc Holiday? Which movie came first? I want to know. But uh, I think it was probably this one. Uh, so he takes the entire bike apart and he's like, I can probably have it together for you tomorrow. So that means everybody has to stay at this guy's house. Yeah. Except mm-hmm. Vanilla Ice because I'm he's, out. He's in Smith. He's O U T, Sean. Mm. He's O U T out. That's right. Yeah, let's G O. Yeah, that's right. Why does he have to spell everything? Because he can. It it's. Well, I mean, I can. It's one of those inexplicable things of the nineties. You know, just like I've given this character a backstory. I was gonna say this. This this is gonna be. Feels like Holly's area of expertise. Okay, so I like to believe that he grew up in foster homes, Mm -hmm. and the one thing that he excelled at in school was spelling bees. I like his head can. <laughs> and then, I like it. And then he became a rapper. Yeah. And now he goes on tour. Yeah. Because goddamn, if you're going to get anything else from him, if you ask him directly where he's from or anything around, yeah. <laughs> been here, been there. Yeah. 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 And the, his winning Which, word. His so winning he's word like, was yo, probably check like, it, xylophone. Right. <laughs> yeah. His winning word was probably collaborate. Let's just be real. Yeah, probably. <laughs> right, but, and that's the that's that's the shitty sitcom flashback to yeah, where he yeah. discovered his yeah. powers and shit. Like the, like, there was like one teacher. Your really, word the, is collaborate. Yeah, yeah. There was like, and then he was like, "Stop!" No, his teacher. His teacher. Collaborate yeah, his listen. teacher. Was like, his teacher was like the only adult that believed in him, and mm. she was like his English teacher, his like mm-hmm. spelling teacher. So that was like her teaching method was like, "Stop, collaborate." Mm-hmm. And listen. listen. Yeah, and he and just repeats he, that to himself. And he's like, that's his mantra. Yeah. yeah. This is kind of yeah. what I was expecting this movie to be. Yeah. Like all the origins of yeah. the little vanilla no, no, ice no, stuff. No, no, no. this is a. I know, I thought it was going to be Eight Mile of Vanilla oh, Ice. Oh, no. I was wrong. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and then my head canon mm-hmm. is that he is an alien come to Earth. I like this idea. Which, yes. which I totally support. And it I, makes more sense. I think the mechanic garage is the mothership because it stands out so fucking much and doesn't fit in the rest of the town. Like they tried to disguise themselves and what they thought America, the middle America And the two mechanics are like. Like also aliens. That's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. And that's because tracked. they seem like it. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. Candy Clark is also in this movie and she was in The Man Who Fell to Earth. So I mean, oh, there we go. Did, a, yeah. Colin, yeah. is this just a 90s <laughs> remake of The Man Who Fell to Earth? Obviously. Is it? Yeah. I like this because yeah. he is bizarre. He's trying to fit in with like small town culture. I mean, mm-hmm. I guess they're going with like he's a big city rapper or whatever, but he does like just. He talks like a fucking alien. He doesn't seem to understand like how anybody, how any uh, social mm-hmm. interaction is supposed to go and just kind of wanders into scenes. Yeah, the constructs right. of society do not apply to Vanilla Ice. Yeah. So it's like, I'm going to do what I want. Uh, Ken In Clark, by the way, did we determine is she on the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame? I don't know if MF Mad has given us this. We may have to check the, the, we have, may actually, well, it's a very she, long wall. Let's say go she look. might already be on the wall and we just, yeah, right. Because remember. we know she was in yeah. Amityville 3D and the blob and this, so this will at least put her she's on the wall. She's definitely on the wall. Yeah. Definitely she on the could wall. have already been on the wall. Probably on there, the wall. That's why we're not. Yeah. yeah. There has been some revisionist history with this movie and them trying to cover their tracks. They, now when you, like a Nazi genocide denial thing? Part of this that got no. taken out? They, they're saying <laughs> like now that, that if you Google this movie and look up anything about it now, they'll say that this is a modern remake of The Wild One with Marlon Brando. Fuck that! Boy. It is... It is not. It is not. Sorry. I love Marlon Brando. This is not the one. No. Yeah. no. The similarities are there's motorcycles. Okay. And that's at, like, oh. I haven't seen the wild one in a minute, but oh. I'm not seeing the remake He's got here. a sweet jacket in that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the hat. Have, like, I think they assume the hat. hat. Yeah. And he's got yeah. a sweet jacket in this yeah, movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I do like the time capsuleness of this movie. Like that this movie could only exist the way it does in nineteen ninety one. You know, yep. like I love I do appreciate that about it. Well, he uh because he has his sight set on uh the horse riding daughter of horse girl. Uh, Kathy Cat Cat 
He renames yeah. her, right? Because uh, that's True. more awesome when because you Because this is that, his world. That's what you got to do, right? Yeah, we're just living in it. That's right. Because you like it when people call you by their own uh, you know, name for you. Sometimes. So it turns out <laughs> she's the daughter of Michael Gross. Michael Gross, thanks to this movie we are putting on the Saturday Night <laughs> Freak Show. Go. Wall of Fame. Why? Why are we putting Michael Gross? Because he was in Col- he was in Tremors? Cool Vice and two Tremors, two Tremors movies. movies. There we go. That right, we so did on this cool. show. So that's all right. So you're you welcome. Feel, yeah, you John, have, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. I did all the heart work. glow. Michaela right brought there. it home. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so Michael Gross and Candy Clark are uh, her uh, parents. She's from um, what was it? Home Alone. She was yes, Kristen Minter. Yeah, uh, Kristen was, Minter was. Wait, so she's is she on the wall? Kristen Minter? She's oh, we've got done one. two out of three. I was going to say. Oh, my God. Done, she's got two. two out of three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, she, yeah, she's one of the older McAllister kids. She's the one doing the head count in the van. So technically, the movie happens because of her. Okay. All right. Right, All right. Right, right, right. All right. So. So we're with you. Okay. Mm-hmm. But her boyfriend is this guy named Nick, and he's like a complete dick. asshole. Uh, what, sorry. It was Dick. 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 Yeah. Dick. Yeah. Nick the Dick. <laughs> yeah. uh, because uh, at the beginning, we meet them. She's, uh, where, was she going off to college? She was thinking about going to college? So she got her scholarship, remember? Because she's a horse uh, Well, equestrian. and her, she was at the top of her class, and she got like a perfect score on her SATs or whatever, too. Yeah, believe it or not, the horses have nothing to do with yeah, yeah. this movie. <laughs> yeah. They, they're, just, they're just a happenstance. When it's, they're, when they're they're watching that news interview, they rattle off all her yeah. like accomplishments. Yeah. What yeah. news interview? Because the crucial part of the plot hinges on this. Uh, the news is interviewing her because it, this is like a Gilmore smart. Girl situation where yeah. like there's one chosen child in the town that is just perfect and it's gonna you know mm-hmm. represent the town well out there. Yeah. And uh, so they're interviewing her about her accomplishments and working hard and going to college and and Michael Gross is like covering his face during the whole interview and Colin I was so surprised that you called like that whole B plot just from that moment now I don't did you know anything about this no or did you guess no it? but the, the movies uh, the, the way the movie sets it up I think during the interview we cut to a dark bar where a shadowy mm-hmm. figure right. is yeah. sitting there and hey the- turn it up yeah. yeah, and he wants to turn it up. You won't believe like, who I just saw. And so yeah. that flashed in my mind. I don't know. I was actually like foreseeing like a history of violence or something. Oh I yeah, this yeah. Movie was going to go like a different. You know, it's like oh, and then of course Michael Gross is covering his face during the interview, so we know that there are shadowy people, like literally, literally yeah. shadowy people, yes. shadowy people who are like, who is it? We found him. Right? He's on TV. Guess who I saw on him. TV? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That is literally Actual the conversation. Line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is the B plot of the movie. I don't, which one should we pursue now? A plot, which is the pursuit of the uh, virgin girl. We know she's a virgin. I mean, that has more memorable moments, I think. Okay. All right. <laughs> Why do we know she's a virgin? She wears white always. Her whole room is Her whole white. Room is white. She, but like, yeah. but did you know she didn't even wear jeans to like the end of the movie? She was even like white skirt, white pants and everything. Yeah. She violated our white pants yeah, law sociopath. legislation. Yeah, is the, so the yeah. jeans the symbol of that is she is she's no longer being corrupted. virgin? Yeah. Is she corrupted or just now she's... Uh, I think know, from the perspective of the town, people corrupted. Knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> womanly knowledge. <laughs> Thank Sorry. God. One. So, um, of the Please world. Please share your womanly saying, yeah. knowledge with um, things we don't know. So, but There's, because, there's well, a line in this movie I feel like we cannot skip over. Like when, when uh, Ice goes up to her house to introduce himself for a second time after he Dan nearly killed her on her horse. Yeah. Um, and Nick the Dick is there. Yes. And she tells, he almost looks directly into camera. Mm-hmm. Almost. Almost. I swear, filming this must have been like a cat food commercial where they have to like shake something to look at so he doesn't look directly ice, ice. in the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he says, why don't you drop that zero and get with the hero? Yeah. Did it, did, uh, was that on the mm. poster? I can't re- I knew that line. That I never saw was in the movie. trailer. I was going to say, because okay. Colin also yeah. said this before it happened. I was just wondering why. Yeah. I'm like, he looks something up about this movie. Yeah, yeah. No, Colin's well, too on that point. one. It's well, a gift even. Our- it's comments. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that is the. Yeah. Yeah. It's the. That's iconic. Yeah, it is. It's a nineties moment right there. I, I will say, like, as stupid as that line is, he does his best to deliver it as well as he possibly like, can. He knows what he's saying. Yeah, like, he knows. Like, this is this is going to be something forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, he has to try and uh, woo this uh, girl away from her. Does beloved. he try and woo? I don't know. 
I mean, that's the ice cube scene. You don't think that was wooing? Okay, let's talk I about don't. this. No, I was going to say, no, no, I don't. Do you think that was an alien's attempt at wooing? Maybe. Yes, yes. yes. this is why your, your assumption there tracks. Uh, I mean, a- this, this also takes me back to like, okay, I can see the Playboy video happening with that moment as well. Yeah, yeah. That because, makes yeah, yeah. sense. Well, to set this up, there's a moment in the movie where she has gone to bed. She's uh, She just found something horrible about her family, which is the fact that they are on Liars. the run. Yeah, oh. they've lied to her, <laughs> her entire life. They're actually in the witness relocation program because, and this one didn't really track or make sense. No. Well, it's a storyline you wouldn't expect in a Vanilla Ice movie. That's okay. That was another reason why I wanted to bring it because I was like, they will not see this kidnapping no. line coming at no, all. I won't see the, the, the kidnapping, the witness protection, like things I thought, did not think were going to be in a movie like this. Right. Yeah, you're hoping With that Michael, Michael Gross. Gross would go all uh, nobody, nobody. Yeah, right? all, yeah, all Death Wish three on the on some motherfucker. Yeah, because <laughs> there, there's the potential. They're opening that door. You're like, I did not expect this in coolest ice. Right, <laughs> we're gonna have this plot line. But yeah, so uh, these let's two guys. Let's take it easy on the plot line of this because it's pretty <laughs> shoddy. Don't, yeah, yeah. don't get carried away. Yeah, yeah. The story. There's probably okay. I don't know this go. movie's ninety minutes, but there's probably like outline. I'll, I'll give you sixty. Outline. There's probably like <laughs> sixty minutes of actual movie because like there's four music videos. Right. <laughs> Anytime we hear a song, we hear the entire song. Yeah. I mean, we need an entire date montage. We got a montage. It felt like well, two obviously. montages. There's like three. He goes on a ride at yeah. one point. It's a, just a bike riding montage. Well, there's also the, peop- the People's Choice, which is probably my favorite song from this one. But the, the mm-hmm. when he starts to corrupt the town, the, the town dance. Yeah. What, what was that? Yeah, oh, they were at the Sugar Shack, the right? Sugar Shack, which yeah. should be a strip club. I'm sorry, it, should it be. can't it's, just it's be a regular it club. Is, yeah. It can't just be a regular dive. This was like a fucking dive bar called yeah. the Sugar Shack. Yeah, yeah because I, she's gone there uh, with her boy with Nick, mm-hmm. and Vanilla Ice is like, I'm gonna go there and and find her, and I'm gonna win her over. And there's some band playing. He can't stand it, so he unplugs their instruments. He takes over and. But was there like a footloose moment where the the entire audience was like, man, we are. Yeah, no, they yeah. started. There was even a close yeah. up of someone tapping their foot. Yeah. Just yeah. like that. Just like yeah. There, were, there yeah. were nerd glasses yeah. getting pushed up like, what? And then they started like shimmying a little bit and, and then they bob in their head. When I said poindexters earlier. Like, this is how these people are dressed. Oh, yeah. Like, it is Revenge like, of the Nerds. Like, yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. Like high socks <laughs> with shoes and shorts and then taped glasses. And like, this is all the background. And like layers yeah. that don't make any sense. Yeah. You know, like patterns that don't match. Although that is kind of. Of the, That's the rigor 90s. of this, <laughs> yeah. of the nineties and yeah. this movie. Yeah, but, yeah. Imagine else. any nerd character you've seen in any pop culture. Imagine all of them living in one town. Mm-hmm. That's that's <laughs> the scene. Yeah, I think. This magical town exists, actually, and I think these people actually live there. And I think Hollywood knows about it. It's a secret. And it's a secret, and they go and film there, and these are real people. Oh, is that this your is, conspiracy this theory, is my theory about this yeah. movie? Like, this town exists <laughs> in all its little perfection. I was I was actually kind of disappointed that by the end of the movie that the town wasn't, like, you know, converted by the power of uh, hip-hop. You know, Vanilla Ice's yeah. uh, variation Funny. of hip-hop. Like, I expected, like, <laughs> dancing yeah. hip-hop moves in the streets. Like, breaking, right? Yes. Uh, by the end I, of the well, movie, the entire... Should. Uh, they all, if Canon you know? had made this movie, oh, yeah. that's what would have oh, happened. This Absolutely. is where this movie Absolutely. is a big, it misses the mark. Canon yes. should have made this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hey, because then they would have all classic. turned against the bad guys who are, uh, well, they weren't they were in trench coats, but they're all dressed in black. There's two guys, basically, yes. uh, who we thought were mobsters mm-hmm. uh, when we first were introduced to them. One of them is uh, Jack McGee, who is a Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame inductee be. because Congrats. of this movie. Should be. Uh, you're going to remember him as the bartender in the hidden. Nobody. No, nope, uh, don't. He was also he was Fat Lou in uh, Drive Angry. Oh, he was okay. That yeah. was the guy that had the garage. Okay. I think. Um, I know. Him no, he was the diner. Not oh, okay. I don't remember yeah. that either. And he was also he was in Basic Instinct. We haven't covered in the show. This guy's been in a whole bunch of stuff, but he was in this. He's one of them. And so basically, but we find out they're not mobsters because I thought like that's where we're going to go. Michael yeah. Gross is the like a mob accountant who stole a bunch of money and that's why they're after him. No, nothing is what you expect in this movie. No, that's no. true. So who are they? They are other former cops, right? Yeah. They're, they're like part of a what did he say? Um, 
Well, he was a it's, former cop. Well, he's a former cop, so what are they? His story they was that... They were the other cops, is what he said. His story yeah. was that, like, internal affairs basically put the heat on the police department to be like, right. if you see something, say something, sort of thing. And he snitched. And he did. Yes. And then, on like... On his partner. On his partner. And so they, they put him into witness protection because of that. Yes. But I don't understand where the, like, you owe us money comes from. Right. This yeah. is never explained as a plot hole that no. I had a problem yeah. with. Because they're like, they show up and they're like, you owe us $500,000. I'm... And we're like, where'd the five hundred thousand dollars come from? I can only assume they were like stealing money from Ooh, like probably. crime scenes yeah. and or because something. Because he intervened, they missed out. They on missed out on their money. Dollars? Yeah, yes. but that's not clear because no, no it's not and it's been twenty years. Yeah. yeah. And so, but I'm all, yeah, and I'm also wondering like, well, what happened to them in the meantime? Were they in jail? Right. Did they get out? Right. Because that's why you point? don't need to go into witness protection because if you know who the guys are, they. You build a case, you put them in jail, right. but so these maybe guys they guys are somehow still, are they still cops? I don't know. They park don't out know. in front of his house for the duration of the movie. And this, they make no effort to get away from them. Right. This yeah. is, when we were talking about like this storyline, this is the one that it frustrated me <laughs> because I don't, nobody's acting logically. I mean, I know this movie is cool as I started. Yeah. <laughs> I, I understand that. I know. Yeah, but, but I get it because that that branch of the movie functions like when you're watching it, you're like, this feels like a real movie. Right. But which is it, which was surprising to me. Yeah. Yes. This feels like the real movie, but then you combine it with Vanilla Ice hanging out at that at that shop. The spaceship. The spaceship and, and everything else happens. You're like, wow, something's yeah. not grooving here. Like we're, yeah. you know. And things are music. missing right. from this plot that would yeah. make it make actual sense. Yeah. Like, but, and it's not like we don't have time. We're spending time on music videos instead of plot. Like we could flesh out this plot more, but we're choosing not to. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because these guys, right, who basically show up at the house one night and say like, because they, they confront Michael Gross and yes. they're like, you owe us five hundred thousand dollars. Why? We don't know. We're, but you owe it, mm -hmm. and you better have it by <laughs> tomorrow night, twenty four hours from now. Yep. Mm -hmm. which, right. Which you should never put a timer on your movie if you can avoid it because it just creates plot holes. Yeah. You know? it does. Because it's I'm true. pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that time gets expired, and then there's right. another twenty four yeah. hours or whatever. Because uh, uh, da the daughter, whose name I can't even, a uh, cat, cat, is mm -hmm. out with Vanilla Ice. At the Sugar Shack, yep, uh, where there's a fight in the parking lot um, later, which he, he has to beat up. Oh, that's when he comes goes back. Sorry, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Nick is smashing his squad's bikes with baseball bats. Yeah, mm -hmm. which I was kind of disappointed that uh, that the squad didn't come out and like you know actually have a confrontation. It was just Vanilla Ice, yeah, defending the bikes against. And of course, this is his movie, Colin. That's right. Mm -hmm. True. And because he's so fucking awesome at dance moves. He beats the shit out of everybody and puts yeah, it's Nick like in the dance hospital. foo almost. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that actually happen, or did I just say that? I don't think no, it actually did. did. No, it did. Was it dance foo, or did he just no. punch a bunch I mean, of guys? I mean, that's the best just... way I could describe it. <laughs> it you know? it's, it's it's not shot in a way that would uh, celebrate a dance foo type of fighting yeah, we, style. Yeah. It is very close and just very punching. Like we honestly don't really see much of the fight. No, yeah, it is. Yeah. They it's edit around close. it. It's pretty dark. Yeah. Um, I think they're trying to edit around. Uh. Ice fighting. I mean, like, okay, the guy's a 23 year old rapper. You know, you're asking a lot of him to ask to him not only to act, but to like be good at fight scenes on top of it. He's not right. an actor. That's not yeah. what he does. Like, well, what do we think of his acting chops? Would you cast him in something? I feel like he's acting like Vanilla Ice. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I feel like he's playing himself. So it's which it's, is you know right. Which how much of an act is Vanilla Ice? I mean, based on the surreal life, like definitely the way he speaks. Is like this, is like an affectation for okay. sure. Well, that's what I figured. But like, I don't know. I, like, he seems to like a pretty normal dude based on yeah. his okay. real life. Well, you know, based, based on HGTV, he's pretty normal. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what it, it always. Feels <laughs> he's actually like, pretty likable too. Yeah. I right. Will it say. feels like, like he's putting on a uh, obviously a front as it's Vanilla a character. Ice. It yeah. is a character. It's a character. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah. if, he, if like, he did that around me, and we were just hanging out. I'd be like, knock it off. Just talk yeah. normal. His real life, yeah. he was pretty normal. <laughs> His affectation is to introduce uh, hip hop slang to uh, the, um, I guess, the population of this town specifically and America. Colin, and, and and America. This, is, this is the point. This is the introduction. <laughs> this is this. We must spread the yeah. gospel of ice because, goddamn it, we get that awesome scene where the uh, old folks at the garage are. Uh, well, they're not. Uh, they're. They're getting down, Colin. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, what do they do? Are they jamming? I'm an old man. They're getting, I was, oh, they're getting no. down. <laughs> Go. You describe, it, describe it how you want, Colin. Yeah, what, what a Colin It's like these moments I've been waiting for. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> but Colin, you lived through all this time. I know, but, like, but I he was didn't not, ignore it. No, I ignored it. I was in like, this is this, yeah. I, was, I, know, I was like, this is what amazed me is that we were like really little. I was a baby. Colin I know, like, but yeah. this goes against Colin's soul. Yeah, I'm to feeling. me, I was like, I was in dazed and confused. I was doing a lot of drugs. Colin was actually yeah. dazed and confused. Yeah, yes. it was yeah. dazed and confused. And there was this big like 70s renaissance that, you know, like, yeah. and uh, indie filmmakers and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But I mean, yeah, I feel so. like we need to talk. I, I, we need to talk about the ice cube scene. I'm sorry. We yeah, that's can't, right. We, we got to get back to we it. Cannot yeah. We cannot blow past that. We must that. get past it. That's yeah. true. Or get to it. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sean's like, I don't want to talk about it. I mean, this I is, really, I was. Uh, well, I was this offended. is after yes. after the sugar shack, right? After, after the, the sugar, sugar shack, shack date. After she has discovered that her parents have been lying to her the whole time. Yes. They're they're in danger. She stays up all night thinking about this. She does. Mm-hmm. Tossing She's got and turning. Okay. And eventually, she falls asleep. Yes. And then. This is where the Playboy shooting comes in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we just yeah. see like a close up of her mouth and first, water first, dripping first into it. Just yeah. drips yeah. on water her face and drips. into her mouth. Yeah. And then a, 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 a hand comes in. <laughs> and drops I just see it. I, I see it like the um, uh, the Hot Shots Part 2 thing where he's just like, yeah, tries to be sexy. And then he's just like. Yeah, because that starts jamming. They're, it in their they're mouth. doing nine and a half weeks, right? This yeah. is erotic filmmaking or right. whatever. You're like, and what so the it's fuck. It's is- apparently ice that he plops in her mouth and like uh, my first thing was like i thought it was fruit i thought it was drippy syrupy fruit that he yeah. just popped which out. to be fair she has a whole bowl of lemons next to her bed she has as a bowl Holly of lemons next out. to her bed yeah. Yeah. i missed yeah. that yeah yeah why and the ass they're, paint they're the ass drawing fruit. okay uh, sorry <laughs> <laughs> lemons are not a virgin fruit. i know, no, I know. No, no. <laughs> it'd be like what peaches passion fish or peaches? passion peaches? fruit sorry passion cherries fish. cherries yep there. So there, anyway, it there it is. There it is. Because we, we, but we Obviously. have to at some point work the title of the movie into cool as uh, ice. The, yeah. yeah. So he feeds her an ice cube while she's this sleeping. This is his love language, Colin. <laughs> you ever seen that? Is this video? what I need to do? Is this what I need that to try? Meme oh. where that guy like uh, feeds his girlfriend a raw egg and she wakes up and then he what? Like, a, oh yeah. What are you like, talking like, about? No, it's like, I'm yeah. sorry. Hold on, I missed I the intro. I don't know what you're talking about, Colin. What are you saying, Colin? It keeps. Keep, keeps coming up on my Facebook. He like feeds her raw egg while she's sleeping. She gets up, then she runs after him. But he's strung up like this uh, uh, saran, wrap? saran wrap, and she runs into that. And yeah, what, is, what the fuck, fuck is on your Facebook? Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm seen seeing this. this. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but Sean, I, Sean I is it's shocked. On, I assume it's TikTok. Yeah, probably, probably. one I mean, of those things. And somebody I'll shares give you, it. A random shit just pops up yeah. nowadays. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I like thought tic- of. Wait, that's what, what TikTok like. is. It's this movie, but condensed into just like <laughs> for the new age. Especially <laughs> scenes where our hero just sneaks into your room while you're sleeping in the middle of the night, crawls into bed with you, and then wakes you up by dumping an ice cube down your throat. Yeah. That's this is sexy. fucking disturbing. <laughs> that's sexy. <laughs> I, will, I will say the whole like... Guys sneaking into your room while you're sleeping Not is okay. like, but that's a young adult theme. That happens through a lot of young adult content. And so that is not the first time, unfortunately, I've seen that Twilight looking at you. I know. I was, yeah, I was, yeah, I was like, this yeah. is a common thing yeah. that throughout young adult fiction. Yeah. That well, exists, I assume that you know. this is some kind of, and maybe the I'm ice wrong, cube but... is what makes it weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I think it's the vanilla ice that makes it weird. But... It is, but also like, the fact that she's only known him for two days and he's just like laying in her Yeah, but when you're a teenager, up. you're stupid like that. that. I mean, that's, when you're a teenager, love. that shit moves quick, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's Very true. Like, you, like, when you're a teenager, everything is extreme and life and death like that. Yeah, that's true. This you know. is the be-all I mean, end I mean all. what? Romeo and Julia took place over, yeah. what, like, three days or something, right? Yeah, you know? that's true. So, and they were, like, true. 16, 17, yeah. something like that. Maybe this is a retelling of Romeo and Juliet. That's what I'm saying. All right. That's what we're going Can we for just, here. Wow. This is a great piece <laughs> no, of Americana. First, you mentioned Schindler's List, then you mentioned History of Violence, now we're talking about Romeo and Juliet. Fuck that. No. Wow. no. We also mentioned the Wild no. One, too. <laughs> this was, this, 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 was, no, this was the it. intention of the filmmakers drawing upon all these inspirations to put into this one no. movie. No! <laughs> Vanilla Ice, goddammit! All I'm uh, saying is that cool as, ice, cool as Ice should not have to bear the sins for all of YA fiction, is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm okay. saying that this all is right. not the first and it won't be the last to do some of these things so let's not put it all on cool as ice okay. very true. that's very true this is before yeah, but the, we're talking about like i mean romeo and Juliet's not ya fiction and everything else we're talking about was right it's, yeah it's classic literature that's existed for know, 300 ta- years know, that we still not young adult we're, we're right. talking about other stuff that's coming wasn't it like the cool first ice. young adult <laughs> yeah fiction like isn't it <laughs> but it's not young adult fiction i'm just saying we can't crucify it for things that other beloved classical things do all the time is all i'm saying or possibly mm-hmm. like uh, or we have to hold them all to that same standard think you know? dreams of teenage girls i don't know if that was a thing that the hot guy wanted them to show up at oh night for or sure yeah, okay. for sure 
everybody now. Absolutely, yeah. So this is before the amazing scene where we're treated to a montage where she this. he teaches her how to ride a motorcycle. Well, no, just uh, be a passenger on a motorcycle. She and, tries to drive it a little bit. Okay, yeah, she, she, she takes right. off real hard, and yeah. And she teaches him how to uh, ride a horse. Yep, but she's right. really bad at it. And they teach each other how to dance in unfinished houses. Yeah. That's, That's right, which thing. is basically, as you said, it's a jungle gym, right? An unfinished yes. house under construction is a jungle Basically, gym. It's an adult adults. jungle gym. But yeah. they are looking right into the camera as they're like spinning around this, this house. This is the music yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. And running up the stairs. Part of it. Right. And this, is, so this is where I So many splinters. Did anybody else think that? Right. Yeah. They're doing a lot yeah. of twisting. They're and grabbing all on. the wood. Yeah. But there's a lot of scenes of Vanilla Ice looking right into the camera. Mm -hmm. And she's looking right into the camera. So it's supposed to be, you know, we're seeing their point of view. And so mm -hmm. this is where I'm like. Okay, is there like a crazy appeal of Vanilla Ice where it's like, man, I can see why he has a, a following because everybody's like, Vanilla Ice is like a teenage girl. I mean, he's like, not a bad dream. looking dude. He's got a nice strong jawline, you know? He does, and he was using it. I could see him doing yeah. that. Yeah, and he's, you know, clenching. 23 years old in this and movie. And when his hair so. isn't that way, yeah. it's pretty normal. So there's and I think he's aged really well because he looks basically the same, just... Slightly True. older now. Good genes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but have we mentioned his haircut? Like, or what, the back oh, his yeah. How do you describe his like pompadour? Well, that's Ooh. not the part we need to talk. Rooster? We need to talk about what's going on in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you ever see the old like uh, Mary Melody's? Where the, yeah, it's the rooster in the leather jacket who's slicking his hair back. Mm. Like that's what it feels. Mm. It's Johnny oh, Bravo shit. too. Yeah, Rockadoodle. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. man. Oh yeah. fuck. Yeah. Now that you say shit. that, it's yeah. like I'm not oh, gonna be able. Oh, all the <laughs> memories are coming. Yeah. I know everyone's seen Rockadoodle, but no one can remember it right. until it's mentioned. And everyone's like, "I've seen that." that <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. happened to me many times. Like, yeah, the, like, the Elvis Rooster movie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is that like Foghorn Leghorn in a like? He's Elvis as a rooster. Yeah. Okay. Um, Literally Elvis, <laughs> but there was like a there was like a ladies' man rooster that he's based off of, like an old oh, really? school, yeah, like an old school like Looney Tunes era. Yeah, yeah. Give me this documentary, the origins. Yeah, of like Horn? No, it's not Foghorn Leghorn. No, no but I know um, what you're talking about. Yeah, I think it might be like he might be a side character of Foghorn Leghorn. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the one he's always talking to. Cartoon, yeah. yeah. Because he shows up and he like. Woos all of the hens. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, the, yeah. I'm you're serious. Right. No, you're yeah. right. And I'm, yeah. this is what I'm talking I'm about. I'm picturing yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I can yeah. see it. Wow. But so he's okay, got this, so now, he's got the rockadoodle pompadour. Yeah. But yes. then he's also yeah. like, it's it's shaved on the side. But it's which 90s. Is, so when, you know, around the time when people were shaving Batman symbols in or the Nike head, swoosh. Or Nike swoosh. Did, you, did you guys go to school with people at the Nike swoosh? I'm pretty sure I had yeah. it at one point. So, like, what? I tried it once. There was something on that got shaved into my head one time. Photos or it didn't happen. I'll ask my parents. All right. At the beginning of the pandemic, I was cutting my husband's hair, and I always threatened. I was like, "I'm going to put a fucking Nike swoosh in the back of your head. Do like, it. piss me off, and it'll be worse." You know? Yeah, no, and, and and you're like, "And I'm not good at this." Yeah, either. exactly. Yeah. That was kind of my thing. I was like, "I don't know what I'm doing." So you're really putting a lot of trust in me. So, yeah. but and the, so one side it's like a brick wall pattern. Yeah, he's got the brick wall pattern, and it's what that. zigzags on the other side. He's got, and then it. A dark cut. There's a, a strip, and then it's like, yeah, it's like lightning slid yeah. across his head. Yeah. But like, I wonder though, filming this movie, how often they had to like touch it up. That's you an know? thing, I'm guessing. Right? It has but to be. It has to be to keep continuity. Right. Who That's, knew? Which is so much. That sounds like so much fucking work. I mean, but he's got. I'm sure he had his guy that he brought. He has a him. barber that yeah, travels oh, yeah, with him. Yeah, part of his posse, just like. Just, Get him cleaned yeah. up. Mm -hmm. and He's we learned, be looking fresh. Mm -hmm. We learned how to uh, properly woo the teenage object of your desire. How is, do we do that, Colin? Uh, I think by being as enigmatic as possible and not telling her True. anything, right? Don't, yeah, that no, makes don't her, give him any you know, information. Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> right. Right. Where are you from? Around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just got to be the bad boy. Yeah. That's the thing. The no, thing. It's the, the mystery. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. You got to keep the mystery. Find out who this guy is. And playing on jungle gyms. Uh, adult, yep. jungle adult jungle gyms. Um, Open construction sites in the desert. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, um, but there's a horrible, uh, whatever you call it, miscommunication, misunderstanding, because oh, yeah. Michael Gross believes that Vanilla uh, Johnny is part of the uh, evil cop scheme because he saw him because, talking with them right, out he, in front of his house. He asked him it's where a the sugar shack was. Yes. It's yeah. a great movie misunderstanding. Right. Yeah. Michael, and it keeps happening. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Michael Gross sees him talking to the guys outside because he's asking where the sugar shack is. Um, so he assumes, you know, he's part of that group. And yeah. it keeps happening. Like, circumstances always come together where, you know, Ice is delivering ransom notes and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell but us just, about that. 
He's just trying to be like a courteous person he at really this is. point. Like <laughs> there's a package on their doorstep and he hands it to him. And so he thinks Vanilla Ice is delivering it. And it's it's the the younger brother, which like we I, I realize we have not talked about until now. Mm-hmm. But uh, the one who's like uh, the most under the sway of the, the coolness, the power of Vanilla Ice. <laughs> which yes. like. To, when you're that young, it's very easily. He I was just like, wants to ride a way. motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. That's all his yeah. thing is like, yeah, I want to ride cool. on a bike. But do you remember when you were like nine or ten, seeing people in high school and being like, they're so cool, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And then you get to high school and you're like, who? Oh, not yeah. as cool as I thought it would be. Like, yeah. Or you get to high school and you're like, I'm the coolest motherfucker here. <laughs> <laughs> either way, you can go on that. You're like, I was, I, I was like, I had me. a very different college oh. experience. Their high school experience. That's what happened to Ice. Pretty cool motherfucker. Wow. So he uh, he ends up. So, well, there's this whole like. Uh, so he Michael Gross thinks that he's the part of the people who are after him. And the kid ends up a part of like a kidnapping plot mm-hmm. that, you know, because there's, there's a serious. <laughs> this, <laughs> OK, yeah, side the, plot to the, the, movie. Seri- the quote unquote serious side plot to this movie that I did not understand. Like these people come up. To Michael Gross's house, mm-hmm. and they threaten him. You have mm-hmm. 24 hours to give us $500,000. Yeah. And we're, Michael Gross okay. is just like, it's fine. Like, he doesn't. He's like, we'll wait it out. We'll wait. We'll, That's his method. He's he still wait it out. He's telling Kat yeah. well, that you, you have to be careful. You cannot do any. Like, you, the proper thing is to fucking leave. Like, I don't understand. He just ignores these people. That's what I expected. Yeah. They were like, Kat, I'm afraid that your romance with this guy is going to be cut short because we have to pack up and leave tomorrow. Yeah, but no, no, no. No, instead, the kid goes to the Little League. They go grocery shopping. They like, pretend like people, it's not happening. Yeah. Right. Even though they're sitting right outside their house. <laughs> like, why? They're you know? right there. Like, not yeah. even like, he's looking out the window seeing these people, and he's just like, eh, it'll be fine. And they threaten my life for money, but I'm sure you go, go to Little League. You can go to school. I'm going to go to the office. I got insurance to sell. Right. <laughs> and as we've seen, Vanilla Ice goes in and out their first story window constantly. Yeah. So they're not even locking Unlocked. their fucking windows. Yeah. And like, <laughs> wouldn't it narratively kind of made sense if Ice was like, you can come hide out at the mechanic shop with me? And like, the whole family goes there, and then you get like all these people in one place. You know, like, because you've established this crazy mechanic sh- shop as a location. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, like, if they need to just, like, get away from their house and hide out somewhere, that seems like narratively that'd be your next logical step or something, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. As the town is under the sway of, like, uh, you know, Vanilla Ice and mm-hmm. they all kind of rally to his cause. Yeah. This doesn't happen in the movie, unfortunately. No. Um, but, again, we want to dance in the streets. Yeah. yeah. I, I think so. Um but what does happen? So they kidnap the kid. They come in during the day to take him, and then they have like this uh, audio recording, which Vanilla Ice uh, accidentally delivers to because he's an alien. Accidentally delivers <laughs> to <laughs> Michael Gross. He delivers the the ransom. Yeah, yeah. I like, like that this he is just for collectively you. Collectively, no, this that is canon. the reality of yeah. the movie now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we find out like uh, B- Vanilla Ice. God bless him. Oh, there was a whole scene like the, where I thought where, you know, there was the breakup because uh, she's like, I can't see you anymore because my dad told me that you're actually Just with get out of here. We don't want you anymore. That equivalent of that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he breaks into her house uh, while these guys are watching, you know, and they should be on guard, breaks into her house and dumps the ring that, that Gives she her gave ring him back. Yeah. Puts yeah. It in the fishbowl. Right. And then later she comes in and she's like, oh, my, where's my brother? Blah, blah, blah. And I actually did have the thought, like, oh, uh, she's sitting there going, like, who's going to save my brother now? Because Vanilla Ice, I broke up with him. Right. But uh, Vanilla Ice, when he actually does hear the tape, finds the crucial piece of evidence. <laughs> he died. Man, it's like... I love it. I love that he's like, this whole town is idiots, right? Yeah, like, he's, the, he's the smartest person in this movie. He right. is Vanilla Ice. He's goddamn. Vanilla Ice. Yeah. He has the power. I mean, he warned us, get with the hero. Yeah. He warned us. Yeah. True. You yeah. Know? And only heroes can do like pretty great. The, the stuff I only see in true crime documentaries. It, right. I was listening back to the tape and I heard the noise and it sounded like. This one factory that I was always like, he, yeah. he hears he's the Sherlock pounding. Holmes. He is Sherlock Holmes. Like, he's a right. real Sarah Koenig. Like he could have his own version of cereal based on I mean, this story. Basically, couldn't but he? The filmmakers. He hears the pounding of the, of the uh, construction site machine, like slamming the metal. The, of, yeah. yeah. Slamming metal plates. Like yeah. who knew that when we saw that 20 minutes earlier and we commented on it, that they would be, the filmmakers would be brilliant enough to bring that back I as a plot device for Vanilla it was, Ice it was to like figure sexual out. Foreshadowing. Yeah, that's what everyone right. thought it was like. <laughs> that they're gonna pound, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but it comes back in the tape. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. 
Uh, unforeseen. David Kellogg uh, is a from is, David was, uh, like yeah. unforeseen brilliance from these <laughs> right. filmmakers. Small small plot device. They're probably the writers. So I'm sorry, we didn't give them credit. But oh, uh, he was just. I looked him up. It was like he's written a bunch of random TV and that's it. Okay. No movies. What's so I name? was like. Oh, uh, that's Come okay. <laughs> so he is listening to this podcast right now. He's yeah, so crushed. Yeah, Colin, I have to name him <laughs> David. So David crushed. Sten. David Sten. Okay, okay. well, good. Yeah. Good job. Probably, good work. Yeah, him and Larry Block are hanging out. Yeah, it's like because we had totally. Colin, we figured. can't afford another feud, Colin. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. okay. So, no, we'll just stick to one. Fuck you, Larry right. Block. All right. So, um, Vanilla Ice determines. It's like, man, I remember when we were out on our foreplay uh, montage that. <laughs> Uh, I heard this pounding noise, and I can hear this on the ransom tape, and so I know where the kid is. It so is a four he and the so finally his group, who have been hanging out at at the 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 garage, are pressed into action, and the all of them are like on their bikes, and they're so they're like gonna go and get this kid back, and it's like Chuck Norris. In, oh in, right, yeah. They in the Delta Force, except without the uh, <laughs> rear-facing uh, rocket launchers, which would have been awesome if they had them. Would have been better. Break through the. I mean, they drive through the wall. The only way you can, yeah. Because as soon as I saw this happening, I'm like, please drive through the wall. Yeah, <laughs> well, please. You can hear you his to. bike. Right. You well, hear the bike, and before then you hear you the bike. It. I'm like, it's coming. Yes. <laughs> and they drive through the wall, which I'm like, is this is this our climax? Mm -hmm. Is this yeah. the climax yet, of our yes, movie? Yes, it was. And because it happens real quick. And wait, uh, wait, so you're saying, is this the climax? Well, what, when, why when weren't was, you expecting that this was the climax? Because it was over so quickly, right? Yeah, maybe, I, yeah. Well, that's okay, why, because yeah. afterwards I question it, because it happens real quick, and I'm like, that, was There's that the climax of, of my I was movie? like, there, there are right now. so <laughs> many <laughs> windows <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> this is what Vanilla Ice would do. This is the power other, of ice. Like, <laughs> that kid, there's that a lot of that kid that actually said going picked on. up on that. He the, did. The brother I <laughs> love that kid and that joke. It's child just it made me made me laugh. Yeah. Did you notice he looked into the camera when he said it too? He did, that, yeah, because the camera's coming towards him, and he's and, just, yeah. and he's that kid couldn't stop. Looking what did she at the say? Camera. All right, when I, when I went over to Nick's house, I didn't touch it, and he goes, <laughs> yeah. when he laughs at it. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. And I, but I think I had laughed a split second before because I'm like. <laughs> yeah. That's a dirty joke. And then the kid laughed. Yeah. And yeah. then we were, you know, bonded forever. But, like, after he comes through the wall on the bike, he, like, kick, he, like, kicks, like, three people, and then it's over. Like, it really is. Like, yeah, the fight like, scene here is shorter than the one earlier when he's, like, fighting Nick and his friends. Right. Like, yeah. 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 like beat up the two guys. It's just, like, bam, done. Yep. It's over. Right. I'm like, was that the end of the movie? And it turns out that kind of was the end of the movie. because <laughs> We got one more music video, Colin. We got to do another music video. And, and we'll we, get the the, the we get the reconciliation yes. between, and this is the crux of the yep. movie right <laughs> the reconciliation yep. between our a and b plot that michael gross is like okay you actually weren't in the in with the evil cops trying to kill me mm -hmm. you did good i kid. have to yeah, yeah you did good yeah he learns you a lesson now, about not judging people about how they look right yeah. that's right yeah. don't judge people by their haircuts <laughs> yeah i think there's a what was it but that was the weird thing that when he shake you know he's like thank you you know and mm -hmm. vanilla ice is like doesn't matter Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I don't matter. know what that means because you're supposed to say like it was nothing, but he's like, doesn't matter. Like what I did for you doesn't matter. What what was he saying? What say? doesn't matter? The I think man's he, a fucking alien. I think he's saying like your approval doesn't matter to me. Oh, I don't care what you I think like about that me. attitude. Damn, that's, that's even yeah. oh, that I yeah. damn. Yeah. It didn't feel like doesn't he was matter. giving the attitude, yeah. but I feel like that's what yeah. he meant. I don't, wow. Yeah, because if you think about it, he doesn't give a fuck this whole movie. while like, Michael Gross thinks yeah, at matter. all. Doesn't matter what yeah. you think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm I, I didn't it. care I didn't when you were yeah. insulting me. I don't care. You say I'm cool. He even says like when he's like, "You need to stay away from Kathy." He's like, "Wasn't well, that her choice to mm -hmm. make?" Which I was like, thankfully, in something that involves young people, like the decision is like the woman's choice and not her dad's. Thank God, someone's calling that out for once but being like uh it doesn't she have agency is practically what he said right like, well that's because the rest of the movie is saying that the women don't have agency yeah. in this movie yeah. right uh, uh a nice uh not nice but a uh fucking um consequence of 90s filmmaking yeah. I think. well it yes. is personified by nick the dick yes right? nick yeah. the dick yeah what happens to him by the end of the movie I mean, we thought he was laid up because uh, they, fighting they, for his life in the hospital. They, they said that he was like in the hospital for days or something. And then when we see him, he's driving his car and he just has a broken nose. Yeah. He looks yeah. fine. Vanilla but... Ice basically broke his nose. Yeah. In that fight. That Even though it. he hit him with a bat. Yeah. Like he should have, he should have had like some broken ribs or something at least. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, his but... whole point in the movie is to basically say like, get in my car. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, well, yeah, this guy, this guy. guy yeah. Who, this guy had a couple strikes against him. The first one a was couple, a, a lot. The, well, uh, many. The first, he struck out <laughs> a couple times. The first one was when she asked for a diet coke and he laughed in her face. 
But you can't yeah. do that. So, like, like, drink, as he's like yeah. pulling out his own bottle and drinking. It was an shit, open like, bottle of Hennessy that he was just just bringing to a bar to drink. Now I've had some moments in my life. I've never been like that. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just say that. And then I'm sorry, ladies, if you're ever with a dude and he ever gets mad at you and grabs you by the upper arm and drags you out of yeah. a room, break up with him Get right that fuck fucking there, second. That is there was a non negotiable. You had too, but I don't remember what it was. You're like, break up with this guy, like right yeah. now. <laughs> there were several of. I mean, that's yeah. basically yeah. the character. We called her like, like a slut multiple times. Yeah. 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 You're gonna be yeah. a slut with that the yeah. guy from the whatever. Right. Like it is, mm-hmm. it is the whole ownership attitude. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. well, you're mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But every yeah. movie, including Doc Hollywood, has this character. Uh, mm-hmm. yes. So, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so in the end, right, everything is right with the world. Uh, the, so basically, Michael Gross and Candy Clark are okay with their daughter dating this alien from move. space mm-hmm. as their yes. future son-in-law, mm-hmm. right? And uh, she, he talks to um, uh, Cat and says, like, well, what do you want to do? now mm-hmm. right and uh her answer i actually i don't even remember i don't, I don't, I don't remember, remember either once. i don't remember because now the next thing i remember is then we segue to mm-hmm. a dance club i don't remember well, hold on. she's well, even there she's, she's, in yeah motion. she's in the crowd and then he brings her well, hold on stage. okay it's uh hold on it's um there's yeah i think he asked her what do we do now and then she, I don't remember. I honestly don't remember, but I know she jumps on his bike mm-hmm. okay and they drive like away the and he's like right hold we're on talking about that mm-hmm. i forgot something Oh, it right. oh, yeah. around, <laughs> and because Nick the Dick has parked his Corvette up front, he turns around on his motorcycle and jumps Nick the Dick's mm-hmm. Corvette, and then we get like she looks back, and then it's like cut to black, and then we go to the next, the last music video. Yeah, yeah. I wanted, I really wanted like him to jump it, and then to like there be slow motion in midair, oh. and he goes and winks, and it's yeah. like. Ding! And then lands and goes on. That's I what I wanted. It feels like this movie would do that too. I right. remember he's like, she's like, what do, what do we do now? And he's like, well, you're going to college, college girl. She and said, then not she's, tonight. she's like, not tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah, so was. Was college doesn't start tonight. Video yeah, yeah. The or, next show. Was that tonight? He had to be somewhere because they got the bikes fixed. I guess. I think, right. Yeah. I think that was just like the next part of his tour. And yeah. Okay. She, yeah, she goes with, with him. Yeah. yeah. And now she's, you know, and then he's rapping girl. about her even. He says yeah. something right? about like, she's the girl from me or something like that. And yeah. Yeah. Cut to her in the crowd. Uh, yeah. Like and, uh, something so you I wrote could a actually, new song on that drive. Yeah. One yeah. I could <laughs> comprehend that didn't feel like he was like non sequiturs. Like right. he's rapping, which is what it feels like to me when he raps most yeah. of the time. This one actually had sure. like coherency and flow yeah and it was well, based on my judgment the whitest man in when that America. happened in the movie i was like oh yeah that's right i forgot i totally forgot like he was a rapper and then, yeah. and then i was like then it was like colin was in on the this is the actor vanilla ice yeah, he forgot yeah. he was a, a rapper. story about some guy who's trying to like meet this girl and her dad is like part of the and then all of a sudden it's like oh yeah that's right he's a rapper and then it's like there's nothing in the past like 90 minutes that informs that at all. There's, you know, no moment where he was like I'm going to write the song about this girl who No, it's just he, he went to the town over with yeah. his music, but yep. does yeah. he? Yeah, at the when uh, they go the, to the sugar the, shack, oh, yeah. remember? Yeah, yeah. The sugar shack. True. Yeah. But I call it, I mean, down. I, I don't consider it winning over the town unless there's dancing in the streets. Like, God Footloose. damn it. Like break. Like break. Okay. It's it all comes. It, Footloose has been replaced. It is breaking. It's breaking. We have For our, the freak that, show, is our breaking, yeah. that is our reference. That is our frame of reference. Yeah. It's breaking. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. Well, is. I guess that's, that's uh, cool as ice. Yeah. That, we that brings us to the, is the, it the climax. Home? The, the we'll double climax out. of uh, Cool as Ice. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go around the table. We're gonna tell you if we recommend this movie to you. Uh, but first of all, uh, we want to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to summon our mailman, and his name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Do you think he would let us like shave like his hair into like a pattern like that? He doesn't have hair. That's why he's always wearing that hood. Oh, I thought there was hair under that. No, hood. there's no hair. Damn it! Just do it Not anymore. His skin. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. You can do that, Same Sean. deal. You know, no. It stinks. <laughs> Sorry, Igor. All right. Well, we want uh, Igor to bring us your mail. And in order to do that, all you got to do is follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. It turns out a lot of people uh, apparently have seen... 
cool as life. Because this is one of yes. the biggest bags of mail that Igor has <laughs> brought to us. That makes me happy. <laughs> Congratulations, Michaela. Uh, Art by Queasy says, oh, no. <laughs> Uh, about oh, your choice. No. Uh, D Jog Manfish says, Michaela. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Back it up a little bit. One more time. What yeah, was one that? more time. DJ Dog Manfish. I'm sorry. I'm I into it. Yeah. DJ Dog Manfish says, Michaela, no. I know jumping a fence with your motorcycle is tempting, but don't do it. Okay. I love that how many people in the mailbag are talking me down from this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you brought this. They're like, okay. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, Adam Kaler says, Ugh. I just got done <laughs> watching the movie and pondering what horrible thing I did in a past life to warrant this punishment. Why would Johnny think horse endangerment is attractive to women? Why was <laughs> why what? was Stephen Keaton's house lit like a horror movie? Why were Johnny's right? friends stuck at a kindergarten mechanic's house the whole time? Why did Johnny not mechanic. show us the true power of rap by engaging the kidnappers in a rap battle to save the day? Oh, I, I this I yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. Keep going. Uh, Keep why going. why was cool as ice? Not a movie where Vanilla Ice gets recruited by the FBI to be an international super spy where they tell him he has to learn or he learn to be cool as ice. Oh, my God. And why do the produ- producers think ice is cool? It's cold. They should have called it cool as a dull breeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, Those are all valid points. Damn. Those are all incredibly valid. I mean, points. They, that's very true. Like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All those things. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I think uh, maybe this this was the setup for those movies, like his super spy movie, which would actually make sense. Right. He's cool as that. He's super yeah, spy. He's like cool these, he yeah. should have had a yeah, he should have had a film career. The thing like, is, though, of the Van- people I've seen <laughs> have it, he should have had. But the thing is, Vanilla Ice can't blend in. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he stands out way too much to ever be in the FBI or be a spy. You know I know think that is the like comedic element that would be put into the movie like he always looks the same but nobody can identify him like that i think he's a master of the sky that pattern just, in the back of the head nobody can saying. identify like, him he gets away with it that is the that is the uh, world of the movie you know i thought he'd be undercover in the rap world that's a better that, way to yeah, go it's the triple x mm-hmm. okay uh travis legler says i have a slight childhood nostalgia for his cameo in teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 don't we all and the ninja rap uh, and i that was still, the same year yeah. Is this? I bought the vinyl mm-hmm. the other day right. <laughs> of the, of the <laughs> TMNT yeah. two soundtrack, which what? does include "Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go Ninja," which does include go. that song. Well, he thanks you for the royalty. You know what? Sure. I'm happy to give it to him. Yep. Well, Travis, apparently you're not the only one, but he says I still enjoy "Ice Ice Baby" as a song. That's about enough for me. Okay, the mac and cheese commercial he did for TMNT mac that's, and cheese was I think cool, that's the one but I'm that's about. it. Yes. I remember this movie and thinking, is this why kids turn to drugs? To make it, to, to help. It make, would make more sense. <laughs> the movie would make more sense if we were on something. <laughs> well, he says to help this make sense or to make it worth watching, doing the drugs. Mm-hmm. God bless Michaela. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> That sounded like a threat. Right? <laughs> I hope you enjoy what you've they done. They are. Wow. Yeah. Everybody's talking directly <laughs> to you. Uh, Ed Snyder says, uh, ditch that hero and get with the zero. There you go. Or get right, with the hero. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> Backwards. Yeah. But he says that's all I got. Carson Snar says, ditch the zero and get with the hero. Mm-hmm. Simon Carter says, I got two questions. Number one, is this the ditch the zero and get with the hero movie? It is. Yes. It, nope. is. it is. And number two, did Mr. Van Winkle's hair have its own credit? It should have, man. Or at least his style. His stylist should have gotten like, Yeah, that's an above think, the line uh, yeah. job, I think, in this movie right. is his stylist. <laughs> they should have had like top billing. It, it, yeah. it should have been like written by hair stylist directed by yeah. like yeah. that it should have been the order yeah. does that go into costume designer credit probably not that's uh no, no that's hair makeup, makeup. Or usually separate. Right? yeah i right. feel like should have been first after there was this. a stylist yeah. in the credits, credits yeah yeah they were uh, working hard yeah well b movie poster vault writes in and says i was treated that's in quotes <laughs> to this hilariously over earnest vanity <laughs> flick at 3 a.m during a 24-hour movie marathon there Ooh. is nothing that keeps you more awake than the constant musical numbers and increasingly ridiculous fashions perpetrated 
by Mr. Ice. That being said, I friggin' love this stupidly ende- ende- endearing movie, which gives me a creepy stalker of a hero, rap is foreplay, and the most shirtless motorcycle posing <laughs> any movie has ever had. In conclusion, <laughs> drop the zero, and well, you know the rest. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. was, that was a thesis. That, that was, yeah. I love it. I that love it. I, nice. I love the passion in the mailbag this week. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's wow. This, this, it yeah, that is in conclusion. <laughs> it inspired feelings. Uh, Jacob Kotner says you can't get any better or worse than cool as ice. Never have I seen a movie career flip so fast. Turtles two set us up. Cool as ice knocked us down, but is it, it is aged like fine wine with a little bit of ice in it. <laughs> well, well done, sir. Let's, we're going to stop putting ice in things. After that ice in the mouth thing, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that you, was. You can never look at ice. No, again, I can't. Huh? I'll just I'll just continue thinking it was really drippy a really drippy peach and I'll that's, just I'll that's be fine. really powerful that he ruined ice for you <laughs> right <laughs> if one man could do it it's that man yeah. vanilla ice uh, Richard Kratzer says the only good thing I can say about this bad movie is that it reminds me of a better movie which is Step Brothers help me with this. Have I seen Step Brothers? I might have. I, I have, mean, but Will I don't Ferrell know. The, I, don't I don't know it well enough to know the connection. The rel- okay, eh, Abby, you got stumped on it's that. It's been one. a while since I've seen I, yeah, Step Brothers. I haven't seen so. Step Brothers in a while. Wait, what did he say? Wait, what? Uh, the only good thing I can say about this bad movie is that it reminds me of a better movie, and the better mo- better movie is Step Brothers. So there must be some similarity. There must be a connection. But I'm not into I'm comedies, missing. so that's why I have, this is a foreign <laughs> land that we're I've talking just, about. I've seen Step Brothers I'm, once. You I've know? seen Step Brothers several times, but I'm totally blanking on the. What party's talking about? Uh, I'm sure it's very, Let us know. I'm sure it's very obvious, and I apologize. But well, um, Appy L says so. Vanilla Ice wasn't a set construction worker for this project, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> his home renovation shit. Yeah. Oh my god, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. motorcycles and, and hobby. The, yeah, and then, for, yeah. 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 For all you know, he 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 might was have there on set he helping built, build shit. Yeah. The adult jungle gym. As far that's as what I mean. Know. That's he, why there was a whole music video on a construction site. Right. It's yeah. part of one of his hobbies. He, he is very like he is a motocross person in real right. life, and he's very proud of the fact that he did all his own stunts in this movie. Yeah. Like that is a big talking motocross point for him. Construction yeah. just ticking all his boxes. Yeah, this is is the vanilla ice movie. Yeah, layers. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. This Who is knew? why you listen to the Saturday yes. Night Freak Show. You're learning something <laughs> man here tonight. Uh, Michael Whitaker says the movie that can only be described as Purple Rain minus musical talent, acting, watchability, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> ability, and a decent plot. The, in fact, the only comparison here is that they're both filmed in English. Hey, Thanks. They, they both have motorcycles. Oh, That's yeah. True. They both that. have motorcycles. Yeah, That's Michael, true. They both have motorcycles. Very true. Uh, he says, thanks to the Riff Tracks version of this, I now have a good name to call stereotypical douchebag boyfriend characters Chad Cliche. That works. Oh, yeah. is that what they call him? That's pretty yeah. funny. I'm going to have to bad. watch the that's Riff a, Tracks. That's pretty version. good. I like Nick the Dick, but Ch- Chad Cliche is actually yeah. really good. Uh, B Shaw Foolery says, Colin needs to get that sweet, sweet hairstyle. How do you yeah. know that I don't already have it? I mean, it's a secret we've been keeping for a long time, you know? Boom. I, please, Igor touches please. up the, the brick pattern in the back. Yeah, please. At least get a wig or something. Like, get, get a, I'm, I'll do it, too. Let's, the let's Pompadour. Just yeah, for the we're summer. bringing the Pompadours just back. Just summer. This year, 2021. Yes. Year of the Pompadour. Jonathan Holt Muscle says... Muscle shirts. We were walking by the water. Yeah. <laughs> shades. Neon. Come yeah. On, I'm down do for all of it. Hell we can yeah. do this. Do it. Do it. All of us on roller skates. Well, Jonathan yeah. Holt says, will we be getting a Saturday Night Freak Show podcast rendition of Ice Ice Baby? Remember, if you can change one thing, it's a whole new song. I can't wait. Yep. <laughs> Doom, that's, doom, doom, well, doom, that's a doom, joke doom, on Vanilla Ice's doom, justification doom, 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 was that there was a, the high hat at baby, the end, too so it's not the same baseline. I think that's where we're at right too now. Okay. I think it's too old. I too think old. that's where we're at. Here we go. I can lay down the bass. Doom, 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 yeah, okay, doom, take the easy okay. part. Why don't you? <laughs> that's right. I'm going to do the bass. Everyone else raps. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> VIP, good. let's kick it. That's how it starts, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. We're almost there. Holy shit. What a way. Oh, that's what I didn't ask you guys about the... Well, I'll show you after the thing. We can't not mention Jim Carrey's In Living Color sketch where he plays vanilla ice doing a rap mm-hmm. have you guys seen this no i have at but like i point, said it's yeah. been like 20 plus we're gonna years, watch it after so, this yeah. just as a a wrap up <laughs> all right. a, a wrap up <laughs> wow <laughs> just, it's all working tonight yeah. firing on all cylinders. i know right wow is this one of the Who best knew? episodes of the saturday night freak show ever? no <laughs> right now <in> <laughs> uh, it might be one of the coolest <laughs> the i mean cool. it, if nothing <laughs> else not the best, but the coolest. Yes. I'm going to go home. I was going to say. I, yeah. 
Uh, two weeks ago, we watched a movie called The Beastmaster. Joshua Cole writes in and says, one of my absolute favorite movies from when I was a kid, me and my dad would watch this all the time when we had the VHS and it would be come on TV. I swear almost every week, the Xena esque TV series is surprisingly excellent with great performances and good special effects for the time. As a young gay kid, let's just say I watched every episode. The actor they have playing Dar is very good and still working today collecting that soap opera money. There you go. Do this soap opera nice. money is a good gig if you can get it. Like, oh, for sure. I mean, you have to work a lot, but it's steady work and you yeah. can. We're you talking can about that. That's the Beastman. There was a Beastmaster the TV, TV show right. that we yeah. talked no about. No more singer, yeah. different actor is yeah. Dar. Gotcha. Uh, Grant Parrish says uh, HBO's out there doing the Lord's work. I can't wait for <laughs> Disney Plus to release a limited series explaining how the winged devourers became uh. this and the significance of the falcon to them everyone gets an orange origin story nowadays that's, that's, that's the flesh bats the fle- the yeah the bat powers oh i like God. that like that's not bad that's not bad yeah mm-hmm. we call them flesh bats we call yeah. them the bat. yeah <laughs> yeah uh which everyone took uh 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 offense to brett williams <laughs> said between the flesh bats and colin's <laughs> flesh gloves i don't know which sounds more inappropriate uh, B. Shaw Fuller, what, flesh, flesh gloves. I do remember that. That was I, I from something. Okay. That was from something. Because, yeah, it was around the time of 10 to midnight, but I don't think it was. I don't remember what that was. <laughs> I remember was the flesh, flesh glove. Yeah. yeah, tell us what that's from. <laughs> uh, B. Shaw Foolery wrote in again said, mentioning the flesh bats is equal to using the word, word moist. Oh. It makes me nauseous. What's Crusty. wrong with you people? Okay, Stop if they it. had given them a name in the movie, we would have called them that, but they didn't. So, so they're flesh bats. Yeah. Flesh bats. Uh, Jody Radcliffe says, uh, I was traumatized by what we call the flesh bats. <laughs> this played almost back to back on Showtime when I was probably seven to eight years old. Uh, Richard Crotzer says, you got to go back and listen to our episode, but says, uh, I agree with Michaela's assessment that George R. R. Martin was inspired <laughs> by yes. the Beastmaster. Yeah, I also think sure. the Beastmaster would have been a better king for Westeros. Yes. Then the character who eventually uh, took that position, he would know exactly where Drogon was. Yeah, if True. you know, if Don Coscarelli really wants to sue George R. R. Martin, I will help. I'll be, I'll be a, a character witness or whatever I have, have to do. I'm not qualified to be a lawyer. Dragon but. Slayer. No, there's a character called Tyrion. There's really, a, there's a dragon called Varith Mithrax Pejorative, which is name dropped in Game of yeah. Thrones. Yeah. So George R. R. Martin is obviously like a he fan. He just steals of from all everything. This stuff. It's no my. It's a it, one or two coincidences. For- is one thing. Five or six is is theft. <laughs> all right. Uh, Nelson Nascimento says I met Mark Singer at a con some fifteen to twenty years ago. He was actually really friendly, talkative, and down to earth. Beastmaster, in my opinion, is probably the second best of the eighty sword and sorcery movies. And second only Conan. to Conan the mm-hmm. Barbarian. That's fair. That's yeah, cool. That's I'll have to That's keep fair. an eye out for him on the he convention seems like circuit. A good guy, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're doing that movie, you gotta be a good guy, I think. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. And V. Everybody, you gotta see V. And V, yeah. of course. Yeah. We had to mention V. Not N. Quota v. filled. And V. And yeah, it's a yes. letter V. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah. Aliens there. Maybe they might be reptiles yeah. underneath. Okay. So now we're gonna go around the room. <laughs> Thank you for updating us. <laughs> tell you uh, the, uh, what we thought of tonight's movie, Cool as Ice, starting with Holly. I'm, I'm going to give it to you because I feel like you need to get this off your chest first. So uh, what did you think of Cool as Ice? Well, um, about halfway through this, I realized that I don't think I've actually seen this movie all the way through. Mm. So this was probably a first viewing for me tonight, surprisingly. I you're not the only one. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly. Um mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this seems like something you should have seen before. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I think I've seen enough of it that I just felt like I had seen You're it. Right, before. you got the essence. Yeah, like, I get it. Yeah, exactly. Little did you know. <laughs> um, but I mean, this—I feel like this movie is like Thanos. It was inevitable, right? <laughs> like it had to come. Had to. It had to. Yeah. At some if you point. reached the peak, it's that been on my freak show list yeah. for a very like long it had time. To, it had to show up. This mm-hmm. is what we do. This is why we're here. Um, is it a good movie? No. Did I like it? No. <laughs> I, it's so bad. It's just so very bad. But I will say it is a very ac- as as a single woman in her mid thirties. This is an accurate representation of our choices 
of men in the dating world. You either get Nick the dick or you get vanilla ice. Mm -hmm. There is no in between. <laughs> that is why I'm still single. I'm, I, I'm you, taking you, that to the grave. You don't want vanilla ice? Yeah, I was going to say, your, like, not he's not painted man? as a bad option in this movie. Like, he's, but he, he stops traffic for to fix his motorcycle while people are honking. He's, he's not asshole. considerate of other people. Okay, in yeah. comparison to Nick the dick, that is not a crime. But No, but that's what I'm saying is like... I don't want those to be my only options. Right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we want some uh, some D's or yeah. D. We want that option as well. We mm -hmm. want. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop yeah. that joke. Yeah. Go ahead. Um. Yeah, this movie is ridiculous. I like. I can't believe the parallels that we drew on this. We went on this places show. I didn't think we were going to go. Schindler's <laughs> List. Dark, dark history places. History of violence. Shakespeare. 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 Yeah. We got to Shakespeare like, in this, and I think legitimately. Brando. <laughs> Brando, Brando, like yes. the 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 chaos that just happened within the last hour and eighteen minutes, I'm I'm kind of like mind mind blown here. Like I don't, I, I, I Holly feel like, was not prepared for this. I I, I, feel. I feel like I don't think we and we all like my reaction to the movie is the same as the reaction to this discussion. Like what the fuck just happened? Like did it not feel we? like our discussion was just like this yes. movie? Like I, yes, yeah. you're a different person after you I, watch this yes. movie. Yes, like every you come like, out we are a different affected. person. Yeah. Like I, I, I'm impacted. Was it in a good way? I don't know. I don't. It's gonna take years to find like, out. I, I, I have don't. a feeling. I feel like I like need to talk to my therapist. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know where I am. <laughs> but should you watch? You're this, safe. But but should you watch this movie? Yeah. Fuck yeah. You watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> because if you haven't seen it, I mean, why hadn't I seen it? I don't know. <laughs> this movie's terrible. Mm -hmm. But you gotta experience it, <laughs> yeah. right? Right. I get what you're saying. <laughs> That's what I'm sticking to, Colin. <laughs> She's saying that because I was shooting her a look like, uh, yeah, yeah what the yeah. holy hell? No, this movie is like terrible beyond the pale. Um, you know, I didn't get any enjoyment out of it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> no. I know, no, sitting here, like having this conversation was kind of my way of, uh, you know. This is your therapy. To, yeah, this is my therapy. You don't have to go beyond this. No, uh, I mean... Okay, so first of all, you know, it's a vanity project for Vanilla Ice, obviously. So it's like, okay, does he has does he have charisma as a movie star? Not really. I mean, I don't get it. Uh, you Colin, know, I will raise you on Marky Mark. That man had a rap career and transitioned to being a very successful actor. Is he a good yeah. actor? I don't know that I would say he's a good actor, yeah, but, but he's been he's, in, he's been made in, money doing he's it. He's been in Scorsese movies and all that. Doesn't mean like, make him a good actor. But like, let's put it this way: he's done good. He's done. He's good done good movies. acting. Yeah. He has right. done good acting. The happening, notwithstanding, you know. I mean, he was in those Transformers. How dare movies. you? Mm -hmm. That's his uh, best. Uh, so uh, <laughs> he's been in a lot of those weird, like family comedy movies too. Yeah, yeah. yeah Daddy's damn, Home. But goddamn it, Fear. Yeah, fear, yeah. Fear, yeah. yeah. it was very intense in fear, which we covered on the like, show. You should go back and, yeah. and listen to that episode. Um, but yeah, I, uh, you know, I knew we were in trouble right within the first 20 minutes where it was kind of like, okay, when, when we should be getting to like setting up our story or whatever, it's like, no, we're just going to go to this garage where our bike broke down and we're just going to hang out and sleep on uh, like they're, they're all asleep. They're playing video games and they're sleeping. And I'm like, let's uh you know like talk, what, what are we doing here what's the the plot mm -hmm. um i couldn't find anything to hang on to i think like michaela said it, these come off these people all come off as like aliens mm -hmm. <laughs> uh intentional or not uh the the plot line with the michael gross was the more interesting one but even that was like yeah they just shit the bed because yeah i think it would have been better if he was like uh uh, mobsters accountant on the run and the mobsters are coming after him and like, you know, we got to break up this romance. It's like they didn't so, see the other half of the movie while they yeah. were making this movie. It's like they didn't know that existed and they tried to make a serious movie as the other part. Yeah. And Weird. Vanilla Ice, you know, to me just came off as this completely like, I mean, it's all attitude, like completely rude attitude, which I guess, you know, right. It's the bad boy thing. If you're a certain age, uh, because, you know, uh, appeal to him, I suppose, because, you know, I'm sitting there watching him like, this is a guy you just want to like, you know, punch him in the face. Tell him to get the fuck off your lawn. Did he not redeem himself? <laughs> did not did the movie? Did his, no. Did he not have a journey? No, Colin? because at the end, yes, he did uh, a good deed, I suppose, motivated by but like uh, you he know, himself said. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It, so then it was like, okay, go fuck yourself. Dude. Like, I mean, he just seems so. He didn't so have any growth. Like, there was no arc. He didn't for him. change. He didn't change. He didn't learn anything. Like, really, that is a it was 
That is a very astute and he very good change. point. You're right. It was absolutely but because it about wasn't his him. It was the town that needed to change to learn to accept I, outsiders I, and people that aren't like I them. I didn't get that from this movie. To be honest, we're talking about it, but when you watch the movie, I didn't feel it. You know, because oh, yeah, that's why I think there. I wanted the big break in ending. Yeah, where like everybody sure. is, you know. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess Michael is Gross. Yeah. Is, Michael Gross is the one who had that arc, then, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So. yeah. Michael Gross is the guy is the character who changed. But even, but even then, <laughs> he's like, the main character in the movie. Then, but even then. I didn't really feel it with him. I felt like at the end he was just well, like, well, well you, you saved my boy. Well, that's the thing because he like, also, he it. stalls. Like he, he, it's like he actively decided not to change when he's confronted with the stuff that he should be reacting to. Yeah. No, His I family in danger. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Oh, Michael, Michael Gross. Gross. He yeah. doesn't, cha- he doesn't change, deviate his attitude. He Remember he decides to like, this doesn't yeah. matter. Like he doesn't. And oh, at, yeah. and at the it's end, all it, going to be fine. You yeah. Know, that's like, and at the end, statement. I don't feel like he learned anything. I feel like no. he was just like, He would do well, the same thing tomorrow. I owe you an, uh, a thank you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't feel like he Like, you're anything. lucky it ended up this way. It's yeah. kind of like yeah. his attitude. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Yeah. yeah. This is a, it's a terrible, <laughs> terrible movie. I mean, is it good on a good, bad level? Uh, I mean, uh, I'm going to listen to uh, uh, two more people probably telling me. How it is, uh, you know, like one of these movies that you got to watch because it's terrible. Uh, but no, I was like, it's no. <laughs> but it could be because I'm, I'm, I, I am not under the thrall of Vanilla Ice. Can, uh, somehow I, just... I jumped over that. I know when he was a thing, but I thought he was a joke even when he was because I lived through the nineties. Right. He was a joke when he was a big deal, and uh, so everybody like myself avoided his movie when it came out. And now it has become a cult thing because everybody sits there going, but Colin, like, he's a millionaire. That's I know. a joke. So, you know what? Even if he's a joke, he's still successful at being a joke. You know? Yeah. So. Well, I get that. I get that. I mean, <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's hey, all if you, like if based you, on your, like yeah, how you, you see him. Yeah. If you can do it, like go mm-hmm. and, you know, uh, no, I don't begrudge the guy for making an, an industry out of himself. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, you know, if you can, can I, do that. That's awesome. Can I add a hot take real quick? Oh, um, oh shit. I've never been a fan of Vanilla Ice or Ice Ice Baby. I'm not one of those people that like, freaks oh. out if it comes on at the bar. I'm not one of those. I mean, uh, it's one of those things. There are people who no, freak out when no, it comes on at yeah, the bar. I freak out yeah. because I'm always hoping it's under pressure. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I'm, I'm always, hoping for. I'm always it always comes on like, oh, under pressure. Like, no. Fuck, yeah. Again. yeah. Yeah, I was. I've never been like under the like. Oh, he's like yeah. cool or whatever. Like yeah. I've never, never liked him. Yeah, it's. I never like you said. He's always been a joke to you. He was. It, I was he taken seriously. No. Well, I don't. Re- well, not, this is what again, I'm wondering because it, it could never, have been my. I was like twenty in my twenties okay. when he was around, and so he was a joke to everyone that you know. But we were like these weirdo, you know, like uh, art movie people. Yeah. So you know, um, they were all deadheads. Uh, I was still in the metal, you know. So, so, but see, that's the thing. So you're not the target audience. Not the anyways, target audience. So, yeah. So that's why I'm saying, just judging it as a movie, mm-hmm. I guess you know, I was like, you know, if we're going into this with it, it, it reeks of a vanity project for a person who is unappealing to me. Like he's just a, a jerk, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, okay. So, sorry, this is a very long wrap up. Uh, I would not recommend it. Sean, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to get through it, Colin. <laughs> um, you know, you, you're right, Colin. I am gonna. Um, what I'm gonna say is, it's it's the Vanilla Ice movie. You have to watch it. Right. That's where I'm at. Yeah. yeah. If he, that's where I'm at. If you see why I had to bring if it, he like made, <laughs> if he made 20 movies, we could be like, this is not the one you want to watch. This go to watch this other one, all that stuff. But it's the Vanilla Ice movie. I can't not. What's the, does Karen Type have a movie? We have oh, to watch he's the chairman of the board. Okay, there we go. You got to watch chairman the, of the board. How is okay. that at all the same? That's why I'm it's, asking. It's, it's, it's the it's, Carrot Top movie. But then, by this but logic. But he's a comedian. But, okay, what, what, I'm not seeing the connection. Well, as in it is a uh, person who is of pop culture if, well, influence is, who made well, a movie. Well, um, but that's not the reason I'm telling you. I'm not saying because it's a pop culture dude that made a movie, you have to watch it. I'm saying it's because it's Vanilla Ice. Who's a very specific moment in pop culture yeah right and then like he is a pop culture guy who made a movie but that's mm-hmm. not why i'm saying it. Okay. you can't not just any pop culture person who makes a movie you should see right mm-hmm. vanilla ice mm-hmm. this is his movie right that is why you should he see was it. a phenomenon okay. mm-hmm. he was a phenomenon yeah. this is the oh, besides turtles 2 this is this is it mm-hmm. and you can't like if you know it exists i didn't know this existed prior to Michaela announcing it really like did know. Oh wow! I had no idea this existed. Mm-hmm. That amazes me. Yeah, yeah. right. That shocks yeah. me. I mean, it's possible I've could have cool as ice. It's possible that is I have heard that at some point. But uh, uh, 
Yeah, nothing. But it's the Vanilla Ice movie, so I can't sit here and, you know, say yeah. you can't watch this. You shouldn't watch this. Exactly. You should. It is, it's an, uh, an oddity of the 90s. It is so uh, very 90s. Like, <laughs> the flavor is, like, hitting you in the face. Mm-hmm. But I think that is, like, I was fascinated by it because it brings you back to a time that did not make sense to me. The 90s. <laughs> <laughs> And so in, in that regard, it's fascinating. It's fascinating to see people react to Ice. Um, it's You get to see more of him than, like, he is on display in this movie, whatever that means. Maybe there's not much to display, but he is, this is his movie. Um, I found that fascinating because I like watching the oddities of people. And Vanilla Ice, is he is an oddity. And to see him for a full movie, like, that's fascinating to me. Like, just to see his... Because it's like watching a Martian. <laughs> right. I was about to say to watch his acting technique or like to see how he is in front of a camera because we know him as one thing. But and then to see him do another thing like fascinating. Like, I think you have to see that because he's a rapper. Mm-hmm. But now he's in a movie. You can't just pass that by. That, that's right. too odd. So it's not just Ice Ice Baby. It's Ice Ice Baby for an hour and a half. Right. Oh, but that it's song is not in the movie. It, it is no, not. In no, the it's not. It's not. Because no. this was to promote his next like right. step right. forward in right. his career. Right. Right. So, I mean, there is, it's not a good movie, obviously. Um, but there's so many weird turns in this movie, as we've discussed over the past hour and a half. Um, I don't think you can just skip by it. I think right. there's a legitimacy in that you should watch this movie. So mm-hmm. I'm going to recommend it. Again, uh, your results may vary, and it is a bad movie, but it's the Vanilla Ice movie. Mm-hmm. You should watch it. Yeah. I recommend. Yeah. Michaela. I, I, I think I have a lot of respect for Vanilla Ice because he's so authentically himself, and he you, has always been that way. I don't think you can and, deny that. Yeah. And I think that that's something to respect in the entertainment industry when like, you look at musicians now and how quickly they change their kind of vibe or their persona based on what album they're putting out. True. Uh, look up what Billie Eilish is doing right now to see the... Th- 180 she made from her last album like this is true but even you know, like, lady, like, like lady gaga she's yeah uh, you, you, if you're in long enough you progress and change and stuff yeah right but how much of that is their choice and how much of it is the record their record label telling right. them this is what we're going for now right. you know like yeah. that's what i'm always yeah. questioning yes he's always been vanilla ice he's always going to be vanilla ice he like is still playing ice ice baby 30 fucking years later at you know your local state fair and shit yeah. but like I appreciate the hustle. I appreciate him always being who he is, you know, no matter who's screwing him over or whatnot, even down to his HG TV show. You know, I appreciate that yeah. he's always got a hustle going and he's always making sure, you know, Vanilla Ice is still doing something, you yeah. know? I like that that way to look at it. He's always yeah. got a hustle going. Yeah. And Makes like, sense. I'm sorry, guys, but he's going to outlive us. Like, we're, oh, yeah. we're going to die and be forgotten <laughs> and Ice Ice Baby is still going to be remembered. So I have to respect that, you know? Um <laughs> Whether we like it or not, that's a fucking truth. Um, this movie is it is not good. It is terrible, but it is not like I'm really I really am intrigued, Colin, that you thought it was gonna be like eight mile for vanilla ice because I mean, like yeah, that, because I always knew about this movie and knew that it was like a weird kind of like yeah. fish out of water story, you know? And it it's not good, but it is a perfect time capsule mm-hmm. of nineteen ninety one and it could not exist in any other time. Like mm-hmm. I don't even know what like the 2021 version of this would be like them taking some celebrity and just making a movie based around them like oh I, i'm really curious what that would look like now you know be like if you gave bruno mars a movie where he breaks down in a small town yeah and- oh, yes <laughs> like and he's just yeah and he's just yeah. bruno mars for the entire yeah. yeah and I don't know. This it just has to be Doesn't seen to be believed. <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, 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 because because vanilla is singular. Yeah, Bruno is not. And yes, yeah. I did just call him vanilla. Yeah, like <laughs> Nils. I call him Nils. Is he is he one of those people keeping the nineties alive? He has. He is I mean, right. There's a, there's a group. Yeah, like he are. he is one of those core people keeping that era alive. And like there, I'm sorry. Colin, there are people younger than all of us that know who Vanilla Ice is. That's his longevity. Like, I know you didn't like him at the time and you avoided him, but like, like I said, he's going to outlive all of us, you know? Um, This movie's not good, but I, we we didn't get enough time to really talk about how insane the clothes are and the production design. Like, it's even louder than you think for the 90s. Like, it's, it's extreme even for this time period. I feel like it's extreme. And I feel like there are some movies you watch and you're just like, I can't believe I lived my life without having seen that. And I think this is one of those movies. So I think it's a seeing is believing and you have to watch it because it's 
we cannot do it justice with mm-hmm. our words alone. You need to like, <laughs> you need to be visually assaulted as well. You know, yeah. Like the, yeah. it's like the movie. Like, I feel like in our conversation, we accomplished nothing. Like, like the movie, yeah. like, I feel yeah. like we're so all over. That's that why this episode's like, going can, so long. Because I feel like, Right. I feel like we covered nothing and I still feel like we're not doing it. I, I'm sure there's things we should have talked about that we missed because this right. movie's just so full of weird stuff. So I feel like you have to watch it just to like keep up with this fever dream we're having right now. Right, yeah. So, yeah. So, so you can talk to us about it. So yeah. we're, yeah. So we don't so think we're I'm crazy. I'm fucking delirious right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so def- and yeah, if you can, if you can, you know, smoke something or drink something, it would definitely help with it your viewing help, experience yeah. in this movie. Absolutely. Yeah. So. If nothing else for the colors. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely recommend cool as ice. There it is. Wow. Who, who, who'd have thought we'd spend an hour and a half on <laughs> one of our longest episodes on cool, cool as ice. ice. <laughs> we're, hey, we're about the runtime of the movie right now. Yeah, I know. So right. you, can, you can watch the movie and listen to us at the same time as a commentary track. Yes. Boom. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So that's uh, cool that's as it. ice. Next week, we're watching a movie that's uh, chosen by Colin. Colin, what are we going to watch next week? You have a lot to live up to <laughs> from this week. I know. I'm gonna and also you nothing out. to live up to. Yeah. Yeah. All, yeah, that is the thing. That is the dichotomy of a ice. Cool ice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I think it's we a, figured it's it a out. Solid or a liquid? I th- uh, we figured oh it out. Oh my god! <laughs> Colin's like, you guys are insane. <laughs> well, I mean, because that's why I'm like, if this is. This uh, is. I it, think we've all entered a delirium. This yeah. all, but this all makes sense now. But I we're feel vibing. Like the, the choice of this movie was maybe to inflict pain upon everybody, but maybe it didn't turn out that way. Wasn't it was painful a, for me. I know. Yeah, not like I'm gonna give you cool as ice. So. So, like, should I go with the, we should watch Cannibal Holocaust. No, Next, no, okay. no. All right, all right, all right. I'm backing off of that. No, what we're going to do is I was actually listening to our Beastmaster episode again, and I think I made some drastic oversights. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna give you guys the oral history of the sword and sorcery genre. And in oh. order to do that, we're going to have to watch Conan the Barbarian. Oh. All right. Uh, so we're going to okay. do that next okay. week all right. on all the right. Saturday Night Freak Show. So we hope you'll join us. And until then... The basement is going dark.